start everything? Cool. Sports adaptive program, and I definitely think that could be in my future, and I really love just spending time with the kids. My goals for the season are to become a better shooter and a better teammate, and my goals for life are to have a dog. I got all green lights. Simon. Simon would be a golden retriever. Sorry. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the positive environment that the school has. I'm Molly Klein, sophomore in high school, and I... Uh, it's looking good right now. Hey, Lowen, did um, the... Oh, uh, yeah, there it goes. Did the... Uh, text I sent you go through just in case video freezes up again and I can text you during the game. Yes, texts are going through. Yes, texts are going through. Cool, thank you. I'm going to make the board hot unless you need something. Copy that, thank you. All right, so I'm going to go, yeah. Copy that. Thank you. I'm proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Ethan Piles, I'm a sophomore, number 23, position point guard, years of playing two. I like playing guitar. I like to go to Michigan University. I want to play uh, basketball in college, and I hope that I can. I want to be a coach for basketball, hopefully. I'm also involved in drama. That's about it. I love American history. I love learning about stuff from the past. Um, last summer, basically went to P.O.'s and went over to my buddy's house every single day. My favorite memories, probably when I was on my diesel truck with my dad, and um, we went around delivering packages just because we traveled a lot, and I got a lot of eggs and I love eggs so there's that that's my favorite memory my favorite movie has to be Toy Story just because of the idea of it and like I always like pretending my toys are alive when I was little so that's that my goals are league championship I want to have a league championship and I want to win at least two playoff games this year my goals in life I want to be a successful high school coach at least and I want to retire in Steamboat for sure but I want to do that my whole life I already know that for a fact what I remember most about being a sailor probably the teamism this team is really uh, tightly knitted and um, everyone respects each other on it and I really like that Ethan Piles sophomore Proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Erica Simmons, and I'm a freshman. And um, my basketball number is number two, and I play point guard and wing. I've been playing basketball since first grade. I started playing in Tennessee, and then I moved here in fifth grade and started playing here in fifth grade. And um, I like to play volleyball also, and I'm going to try and play lacrosse this year. I know that I want to go to college somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where yet. And I want to play basketball or volleyball volleyball in college, but I don't know if that's going to happen, so I just want to play as long as I can. In 10 years, I want to be in medical school or out of medical school and be able to like travel and go like, a lot of places and help people. Outside of school, I am involved with my community, I guess. We go and like volunteer at a lot of places and like help out at the community center and kind of, I guess, do like, community service. My favorite subject in school is math and science. They're like super fun.
on to me. My favorite movie is Moana because it's like a super fun movie and it's like she's super adventurous and like just like goes kind of wherever she wants which is really cool and like travels across the ocean which I think would be really fun to do. Last summer I went to Tennessee and Florida for like three weeks. We like visited a lot of our old friends and like family friends in Tennessee and then went and hung out with more friends in Florida. It was like awesome and we just hung out at the beach with our family. My goals for this season are to be like an all-around good player, be like a good shooter, a good defender, and um, play as many games years and we've got great rates in 38 properties around the base area call us at 879-8000 and ask for the locals connection discount that's the locals connection 879-8000 or visit steveoutresorts.com it's time for the sailor spotlight a chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors I'm Quinn Connell and I'm a junior. I'm number 11. I play point guard. I've been playing basketball since second grade. I also play soccer and lacrosse. I'd like to go to college either at CU or maybe somewhere on the West Coast. I will not play sports in college and just focus on education. Um, in 10 years, I see myself being happy and just doing what I love. Outside of school, I'm also involved in too many hours of video games and binge watching Netflix. Um, my favorite subject in school is either math or right after math which is lunch um, favorite movie is the hitman's bodyguard because it's got lots of action and also has lots of comedy in it last summer i carried a tree up a really big mountain with my soccer team for some reason that i don't know my goals for this season are to win western slope and win a couple playoff games also my goals for life are just to be happy and do what i love what i will remember most about being a sailor is all the friendships i've made i'm quinn Connell, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones financial advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. If there's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Carly. I'm a senior. Uh, my number is 33, and I play a forward. I've been playing for about nine years. I'd like to go to college, but I'm not sure where. And if I get the chance to play in college, I'd love to. I would see myself in 10 years, hopefully being successful and happy with what I'm doing outside of school. I don't do a whole lot, but I do work, and I work for a company called Institute of Physical Art, and they hold courses for PTs who want their CFMT certification. 
certification. My favorite subject in school is probably English. My favorite movie is Tammy because it is hilarious. Last summer, I just worked and I went to basketball camp. Over the summer uh, at basketball camp, we went to Adams State and we played like three games every day and we won one, so that's good. Um, I fell a lot, so I got a whole bunch of banged up knees. My goals for the season are just to win games and just get better at everything that we need to work on. My goals in life are just to be successful and happy and just doing something that I love. What I will remember most about being a sailor is pretty much every memory, every season that I've had with all my friends. I'm Carly, I'm a senior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go sailor. Hey, Sailor basketball fans, P.J. Warson of Yampa Valley Bank, here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Carter said I'm a freshman. My number is two. I play point guard. I've been playing for five or six years. I also like football, but I don't really play it anymore. school I am also involved in sports. My favorite subject in school is math and science. My favorite movie is Land of the Lost because it's funny. Last summer I played sports and just had a good time. Favorite memory from last summer is probably just hanging out with my friend going downtown. My goals for this season are to just do good and don't get down on myself. My goals for life are to be a pilot. What I remember most about being a sailor is how nice the upper class my name is Carter Reestead. I'm a freshman, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health Family. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome in, folks. I'm Lone Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium. And we are just about to get underway here as starting lineups are being announced as we speak. Sailors, looking to get, Sailors girls basketball looking to get their first win of the season still as they will take on the Palisade. What's their mascot? Palisades. Bulldogs. Palisade Bulldogs. So we will be back in 30 seconds for opening tip-off. Palisade Bulldogs. So 
we will be back in 30 seconds for opening tip off. You guys go to Schmidt last night? You went last time. Still has one. You guys go to Schmidt last night? You went last time. Welcome back in as we're just about to get underway here. I want to thank our sponsors real fast. Docs Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. The Ampa Valley Bank, the Ampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. And Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Looks like starting lineups were just announced. And we're about one minute away here from opening tip-off. Like I said, Sailors Girls Basketball still looking for their first win of the season. And Sammy Kennedy along with Katie Lake next to me here in the press box as they will not be playing today. Out with injury. As the girls will come to the center circle. Looks like taking the tip-off for the Bulldogs. Will be number 13, Alexandra McCaskill, and Shelby Weiss is at the line too for the Sailors. Once again, I'm Lone Epstein live here on 98.9 KTYV Sports on FM, and we're underway, folks, as the Bulldogs are going to win the opening tip off. And right there, it's going to be stolen away by Shelby Weiss. Nice job there from the sophomore, number 30, for the Sailors. Sailors in all white, red numbers, and red piping. As Carly Landing hand, handles the ball. She goes along the baseline, puts up a hook shot. No good there. Rebound gathered by Weiss under the rim. She go, tries to bank one in. Gets her own rebound again. Can't let that, can't get that one to fall. Finally gets her own rebound once more. And then it's going to be just picked away from her. And stolen. And back the other way is the Palisade Bulldogs. This is number 11, Lexi Newton handling the ball. She kicks it low corner, back up to her now. Now it's near side, top corner, Allison Bullinger over to Newton once more, top of the key. She almost takes a three-pointer, kicks it over to her friend, to her teammate, and that was Allison Bullinger on the three-point attempt. No good there. So with seven minutes remaining, 0-0 zero, zero score here still. And now it's Lana Pavarnik, nice inside pass to Weiss, and she gets that one to go. First points of the game as Shelby Weiss gets the easy lay-in. Sailors, 2-0 lead, 6.45 left to play. And it's Allison Bollinger, near side, top corner. Over to her teammate, Lexi Newton. Newton handles it at the top of the key. Over to Bollinger now, back to Newton. They're just running it around the horn. Now we're going to see a three-point attempt, and that one's good from Kiowa Miller. Nice job there from Miller, the 5'5 five five senior. Weiss back the other way now, breaking this outlet pass, and J.C. May handles it. She tries a three-pointer of her own. No good there, right into the hands of Miller. And now it's back the other way for the Bulldogs. Handling it is Lexi Newton. She takes it near side top corner, kicks it over to Kyle Miller. Inside now, and it's just going to be torn away by J.C. May as they're going to get the jump ball call. Sailors will have possession now. 5.56 left to go. The Palisade Bulldogs lead 3-2. to two. It's J.C. May moving right to left on the radio dial. Crosses over, goes back up to Carly Lanning. Three-pointer, no good there. As she was at the top of the key trying to hit that. And quickly now, it's Lexi Newton. She drives in, gets the easy layup. Not sure where the defense was there is... Coach Ibarra didn't like that one. So that extends this lead 5-2. to two. And it's Sailor's ball. J.C. May, top of the key. May handles it, holds it over her head, finds Weiss inside. She drives in, one-handed layup. That one's good. Nice job there from Weiss as she now has 
four points on the day. All four points, actually, for the Sailors. Nice job there from Weiss, the sophomore. Great defense here as J.C. Main records a block on Kyle Miller, the other end of the court. And it's Carly Lanning handling the ball. Lanning pulls up from about 16 feet. No good there. Just off the front side iron. Palisade back once again. We're going to see a three-point try here from the corner. And it looked like that was Allison Bollinger hitting that. 8-4 to four is your score now as this Bulldogs team has taken two three-pointers and made both of them. So after a jump ball there, it's going to be Sailor's possession. Oh, excuse me, it's going to be Bulldogs possession. So after that three-pointer, they're going to get the ball back. And now in this near side corner, it is Jessie Mello. She kicks it out over to Alexi Newton. She tries the three-pointer from the near side low corner. No good there, just off. And Carly Lanning will handle the ball after it goes out of bounds. Lanning tries to get it over to Jason Mann. It's going to be picked off right into the arms of a Palisade defenseman. Finally tipped out of bounds by Palisade. It looks like it'll be Sailor's ball. Excuse me, it looks like it was tipped out by a Sailor's player now is what they're saying. So this is going to be Jesse Mello under the rim. She goes in, tries the layup. No good there. Great job from Lana Pavarnik trying to get that, get, get her hands up. And now this is Carly Lanning, near side top corner. She hits a, tries the three. No good there. Back the other way is Palisade. It looks like there's going to be a foul called on Sierra Harrison. So Palisade will handle the ball for the first foul of the game. Great job here from the Sailors. They haven't, not in foul trouble like they're used to early. This is going to be Lexi Noon taking up the court. She finds Anita Ramos back to Newton corner. She tries a three-pointer just right into the arms of Shelby Weiss as Weiss goes back the other way, moving right to left. It's J.C. May, crossover, behind her back, turns around, finds landing top of the key. And now landing number 33, the senior. She handles it, drives in, goes for the layup. No good there, gets her own loose ball. Finally, the layup is just going to be airballed right into the arms of Anita Ramos. And it's going to be Lexi Newton taking it up the, ball, taking it up the floor. Three-pointer here from Newton. That's going to be no good off the back iron right into the arms of J.C. May as she was waiting for that one. And we're going to see a quick timeout here from... Coach Ibar and Coach Raper. Once again, I'm Lone Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Another quick shout out to our sponsors. Doc's Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. And Yampa Valley Bank. The Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank. Member FDIC, Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated. The contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Friends coming to town, call us at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. We're live here at K2IV 98.9 Sports on FM, or you can reach us at steamoradio.com. This is Sailors Girls Basketball. They're down 8-4. to 3.14 left to go in this first quarter of action. Landing, Carly Landing, the senior, will handle the ball. She handles it at the top of the key, kicks it over to Pavarnik, inside now to Weiss, drives through a few ladies, and finally gets it back out to Pavarnik. She tries the 16-footer. No good there. And the Bulldogs handle the ball back the other way now. It's going to be Anita Ramos. She try, she finds her teammate inside, and that's Jesse Mello, who puts up the 12-footer and one. Jesse Mello, number 21 for this Bulldogs team, is a Five foot eight junior, and she's at the free throw line shooting one more. That's no good. Shelby Weiss goes up for the rebound, tips it out to her teammate, J.C. May. May now, number 21, the sophomore captain for the Sailors team, has been a big part of 
what they're doing this year. It's Weiss into Sierra Harrison, goes up for the layup, gets it to fall. Nice job there from Sierra Harrison as she tries to close this gap. 10-6 is your score. A lot closer than we're used to seeing from this Sailors girls basketball team. Good job here early. And it looks like Erica Simmons is going to check in, number two. She'll check in for Shelby Weiss. It's the Bulldogs throwing it in onto the basket. And now it's Anita Ramos handling the ball, top of the key. Ramos kicks it out to Lexi Newton. Newton now, cross court, gets it back over to Ramos. Ramos pump fakes the three-pointer up top to Newton now. And now it's going to be looked inside. Nice interception there from Sierra Harrison. Sailors back the other way, moving right to left. It's J.C. May, crossover. Loses it for a second and right into the outstretched arms of Alexandra Makaskill. And Anita Ramos controls the ball now back the other way. Tries to go for the layup. Blocked by Lana Pavarnik. And they're going to get her for the foul. As number 21, Jesse Mello, will head to the free throw line once more with 153 remaining. 10-6 is your score still. As she gets set to take two free throws. First one is up and no good. We'll see a change here as Rose Epstein will come in the game along with Reese Norton for the Bulldogs. Epstein will come in for Sierra Harrison. Epstein, the freshman, number 32. She's in there along with Erica Simmons, the other freshman. And second free throw attempt is good from Jesse Mello. So Sailors have it back the other way, down by five. It's Erica Simmons. Bounce pass over to Pavarnik. Pavarnik back out to Simmons. Just almost picked off there. It looks like Lexi Newton may have stepped out of bounds. So Simmons on the inbounds pass now. It's J.C. May controlling it. May kicks it outside to Erica Simmons. Simmons now takes it around the horn. Back over to J.C. May. And May pump fake. Drives along the baseline. Tries to get it back out to Erica Simmons. Lose it for a second. Regathers it. And finally, there's a scuffle there on the court. And it looks like they're going to call this a jump ball. So Sailors will have possession still with 124 remaining. J.C. May calls for movement under the basket as she's thrown it in. May now looks left, looks right. Sends it up top to Carly Lanning. Almost intercepted. Pulls up from the free throw line. No good there. Carly Lanning, good effort, though. And it's just torn from the arms as this is Jesse, Jesse Mello once more taking it down the court. Kicks it out to her teammate, Reese Norton, who goes up for the layup. Just tipped out of bounds there. And the Palisade Bulldogs will still control the ball. It's Anita Ramos. Ramos over top of the key to Newton. Inside back to Ramos. Hook shot there. And it's just in and out, but the rebound's gathered by her teammate. That was... That was Reese Norton. She went up for the layup, and it just went off the front iron. Back outside to Newton. And we're going to see a three-point try here from Magdalena Latek. And she tried the three-pointer. No good there. Looks like it last was touched by a Bulldog, so Sailors will have possession. Carly Lanning on the inbounds pass. Landing number 33, the senior leader on this team. Shoots it up top to Rose Epstein. She's past half court now. Loses it for a second, and, and the ball's rolling around on the ground. Simmons is in there, and Sierra Harrison was in there as well. It looks like finally they'll call a jump ball. So that's another turnover by the Sailors as Anita Ramos will come out with it. And it's Lexi Newton now taking it up the court, trying to get by this full court press. Splits her defenders, goes in coast to coast, finds her teammate, and that's a great play there as Jesse Mello is able to finish it with the easy lay-in. Wow, that was a smart basketball play in there from this Bulldogs team. It's 
Carly landing now over to J.C. May. She shoots it down low over to Erica Simmons. Back up to May now. She's behind the arc over to Carly landing. She tries a three-pointer. No good there. Landing, known for taking a lot of three-pointers. Hits hits quite a, quite a bit of them. And back the other way is going to be Lexi Newton as she gets the easy lane to go once again. 15-6 to six is your score here. We've got seven seconds left to go. As after that lane by Lexi Newton, the Sailors will have possession. Timeout here as J.C. May is tying her shoe, waiting for her. And it will be Carly Lanning on the throw-in, trying to break this full-court press. We've got seven seconds to play. J.C. May takes it up, loses it. Under five to go now. Anita Ramos tries the deep three-pointer, and it's just going to be airballed. And that will finish off this first quarter of action. 15-6 to 6 is your score here in Kelly Meek Gymnasium. I'm Lowen Epstein, live on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. You can also find us on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be back in a second for this second half of that second quarter of action. 98.9 Sports on FM. You can also find us on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be back in a second for this second half of that second quarter of action. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. If there's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome back in, folks. I'm Lone Epstein live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium as this Steamboat Springs girls basketball team is taking on the Palisade Bulldogs. And right off the bat is J.C. May in the paint. She loses it for a second. Lanning comes out with it. Nice job there from Carly Lanning as she kicks it out to J.C. May. Now it's top of the key. Erica Simmons. Simmons, the freshman, number two for this Sailors team, gives it down low, and she tries to find J.C. May in the corner. It just goes off her hands. It looks like she was looking to dribble before she caught the ball like almost like a wide receiver missing a catch and so that's a turnover as that goes out of bounds and it's Allison Bollinger back the other way Anita Ramos now controls it out to Lexi Newton Newton hasn't come out of this game yet she's having one heck of a game kicks it over to Bollinger far side and now it's cross court to Lexi Newton she tries the three pointer and it just goes out of bounds air mailed so that's a turnover from the Bulldogs Sailors have possession 15-6 to six is your score here as we have Shelby Weiss getting four as well as Sierra Harrison getting a bucket to add to that early. And as J.C. May was taking it up, it looks like Lexi, Rama, Lexi Newton excuse me, just grabbed onto it, wouldn't let go. So they're going to call a jump ball. So they're going to give it to the Bulldogs. And it's Allison Bollinger now handling it. Lexi Newton, corner, over to... Magdalena Latek, she tries the three-pointer up and no good, but the rebound is gathered under the basket, and it's finally going to be torn away by Epstein, another jump ball there, great job there from Rose Epstein as this will give the Sailors possession once more. So it's going to be Erica Simmons, the freshman, taking up the court. She's moving right to left on your radio dial. 6.37 left to play in this first half of action. The score is 15-6. to six. And that pass went out of bounds. Looks like it was last tipped off Lexi Newton of the Bulldogs. So... Carly Lanning handles it off the inbounds pass. J.C. May now up top inside to Epstein. Back out to Lanning over to top of the key. This is J.C. May. Simmons back out to May, and May handles it. Lose it for a second. It's going to be stolen away. Not before two girls run into each other. That was Erica Simmons there on the collision. 
So it looks like that'll be a jump ball call as well. This means that the Bulldogs will have possession. Another turnover there from the Sailors. We'll see a quick sub here as Lana Pavarnik will make a change in for J.C. May. Anita Ramos will be on the inbounds pass. Number 43 for the Bulldogs. 15 to 6 is still your score. We've got 6.15 left to play. And it's Allison Bollinger over to Lexi Newton inside to Ramos now. She drives in, tries to get it to go. And the layup is in and out. Rebound there for the outstretched arms of Epstein. It's Pavarnik handling it. Pump fake at the three-point line. And finally finds Epstein inside. And she gets the layup to go. Rose Epstein, the freshman, making waves here early. Nice job there. And we're going to see a timeout from this Bulldogs team. Great job there from Rose Epstein. As her, her team is still down 15-8, to eight, but that definitely chips away at this lead. 547 left to play. Another quick shout-out to our sponsors, Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, and garden. And uh, more by offering our customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you are feeling short-handed. And uh, Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. And we're right back into it now as Anita Ramos handles it along the baseline, puts up the floor. Loader J, no good there. Gathered by Lana Pavarnik, and she throws a couple elbows. Gets the defenders away from her, and Carly Lanning was trying to find Sarah Harrison on the outbound on the outlet pass, excuse me. Looked like it was just going to be tipped out of bounds by Alexandra Mackeskill. So, Sailors still have the ball. And then landing on the inbounds pass, tried to find Simmons. Picked off, fast break for the Bulldogs. And that looked to be Magdalena Latek going up for the layup. She's fouled. So, she'll shoot two now with 5.26 left to go. 15 to 8, still your score. Latek at the free throw line, number 15 for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs wearing maroon jersey with white numbers and white bulldog scribbled across their chest. White trim as well. This is Latek at the free throw line. She makes her first one. Second one is up and uh, no good. So Sierra Harrison, number 42 for the Sailors, will grab this rebound. It's going to be Erica Simmons right to left. Finds Lana Pavarnik in the corner. Top of the key now. It's Carly Lanning inside of Rose Epstein. She puts up a layup. Doesn't get it, but is fouled. So Epstein, the freshman, will head to the free throw line. Looking to chip away at this lead even more. 16-8 to eight is your score. 5-11 left to play. Epstein at the free throw line. As she gets set to take her first one. This, this gym is as silent as I think it can get. And her, Epstein's first free throw is no good. We're going to see Morgan Goure come in here. She'll get her first minutes of the game. She came in for Allison Bollinger. Epstein gets set to, set, set to take her second free throw, and it's going to be no good as well. So Rose Epstein can't capitalize on those. And back the other way is the Bulldogs. Along the baseline... The layup was no good from Morgan Gure, and finally the rebound was put back by Alexandra Mackeskill, who gets fouled. Didn't make it, but she'll head to the line for two. So back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back foul plays here from these two teams. 5:01 left to play. Another quick shout-out to our sponsors here as that first one falls for Mackeskill. Mountain View Car Wash helping the sailors clean the competition between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40. Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Whitty and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Mackeskill hits both of her free throws. So this is a 10-point game now. 18-8 to 8 is your score as Lanning handles the ball. She takes it out near side, top corner, tries to find her teammate inside. She's going to be picked off now. And it's a fast break. As Anita Ramos went up the layup, swatted by Carly Lanning. And she channels her inner Tyler Doyne out here to say no, no to that one. Ball's going to be last touched 
by Anita Ramos as it goes out of bounds, so Lanny will be on the inbounds pass. This is Erica Simmons. Simmons now takes it up, moving right to left. Number two for the Sailors. Crossover, almost a double dribble there. Refs didn't see it, though, and it's going to be Lana Pavarnik in the corner. And they're going to get a call a pushing foul on Morgan Gure. So Sailors will throw it in once more under the hoop. Lana Pavarnik calls for movement. She's running out of time. Finally heaves it up to Carly Lanning. Lanning now splits the defenders, goes up, and can't get the floater to fall. Rebound by Simmons, though, and there's just going to be a scuffle on the ground here as the loose ball is going everywhere. Finally, they'll call a jump ball. Looks like Epstein, Simmons, and Pavarnik were all in on that one. So the jump ball results in a possession for this Bulldogs team. It's Lexi Newton now moving it up. And inside pass over to Mackeskill. She gets the easy layup to go. 20 to 8 is your score. 4.05 left to play. Sailors don't want to let this one run away from them as this Bulldogs team is tough. Is Lana Pavarnik top of the key? She puts up the floater. No good there as Gure falls down with the rebound. So back the other way is Mackeskill. She tries to get the layup to go. Great defense there from Epstein as she just got her hands up. Forced that ball to go out of bounds. And now this will be a Sailors basketball. Good showing out here this afternoon as there's a handful of people in the crowd. Not as much as we'd probably like to see, but enough to get this girls basketball team sparked up in movement. This is Epstein now. She handles it in the paint, loses it, and back the other way is Mackeskill for the Bulldogs. It's Newton now at the top of the key. She handles it, just backs up. She's got 314 left to work. Gure, pump fake, back over to Newton. Top of the key. She's got Erica Simmons guarding her. Newton, low side. And now along the baseline, back up top to Newton. She tries the three-pointer from the top of the key. No good there. Gathered by Mackeskill, though. Kicked out back to Newton. And we're back where we started with 2.55 left to play. 20 day is your score. Newton handles the ball. Gives it near side over to Mackeskill. Hand off back to Newton. They're just trying to move this one around the horn and waste some time off this clock. Mackeskill went up for the deep 18-footer. Can't get that one to go. And it's right into the hands of Pavarnik. She takes it down now. And almost gets called for the traveling. Doesn't, though. And Rose Epstein miss, mishandles the ball. Finally gets it over. Finally, the loose ball is gathered by Pavarnik. As quite a lot of girls were on the ground there. And she kicks it out to Lanning. She, she'll try the three-pointer from the top of the key. No good there. And it's Bulldogs back the other way. Anita Ramos drives in. Puts up the floater. Doesn't get it to go. Pavarnik. Outlet pass over to Lanning. Sailors control it now. We'll see a quick timeout here from Coach Ibarra as his team is down 20-8 to 8 with 2.05 left to play. As we're in this timeout, I want to say another quick shout-out to our sponsors, Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. The Ampa Valley Bank, the Ampa Valley's only locally-owned bank, member FDIC, and Alpine Lumber, employee-owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. Sailor's girls today are without Katie Lake and Samantha Kennedy as they're both out with injuries. Definitely needed here. Shout out to them though for doing the camera work for me. I'm Lowen Epstein once more and we're live on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. You can also find us on steamboatradio.com as this time out is just getting done with. We'll see the we'll see both teams come out. Sailors down 20 to 8. Handful of turnovers here early. But they were keeping it close there for a little bit. Not to say this game's already out of reach. This is definitely one of their better games this season. It's Simmons controlling it, looks inside, tries to find Epstein. She just can't hang on to it there. And another turnover for this Sailors team is it's going to be Gure back the other way for the Bulldogs. Gure handles it over to Lexi Newton. Newton near side top corner. 
She'll give it back to Gure, top of the key. Moves it down low over to Jesse Mello. Cross-court pass to Newton. They're just trying to move this ball around the horn. They've got 129 to go before halftime, and it's Anita Ramos. Tries to find Newton, tipped, out of, tipped away by Carly Lanning, but regathered by the Bulldogs. Another, now we're going to see a deep 16-footer there from Newton. Can't get it to fall, but it's going to be tipped back. Volleyball pass, nice play there from Mackeskill, and finally it'll be tipped back, and Jesse Mello is able to hit the 15-footer, extending this lead 22-8. to We've got under a minute to go now. As Carly Lanning handles it after that Mackeskill 16-footer. It's Pavarnik now, pump fake. Cross court over to Harrison. Almost can't hang on to it, but she does, one-handed. And it's Pavarnik now trying to get the layup to go. No good there as we've got 37 seconds to go. Slowly walking up will be Lexi Newton after gathering that rebound. Newton, top of the key. Looks like she'll just let this one run out with 25 seconds left to play. Gure has it. Inside to Ramos, back out to Gure. Gure now over to Lexi Newton. Near side, top corner. Newton drives in, number 11 for the Bulldogs. Finally, it's worked around the horn before back up top to Newton. Four seconds left to go. It's Gure. She tries to put one up, and no good there as... This final buzzer will run out. Sailors girls basketball down 22 to 8. And it is halftime, folks. I'm Lone Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 or on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. KTYV 98.9 or on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. Sponsored by Doc's Auto Clinic. Campbell Valley Bank. Alpine Lumber. Mountain View Car Wash. Steamboat Dental Center. And Chris Bucket with Edward Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. Check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball. It was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance. The Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And and Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. Sports on Essence, 98.9 presents Steamboat Sailors Basketball, only on 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Sierra Harrison, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 42, and I play post. I've been playing basketball for eight years. I also like to run cross-country and track and field. I'd like to go to college at Colorado State University. I don't aspire to play basketball in college, but I would love to run cross-country. In 10 years, I see myself at Colorado State Veterinary School. Outside of school, I'm also involved in student council, community service, and I love to spend time with my family. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Glory Road because it's an inspiration 
professional basketball story. Last summer, I spent a lot of time with my friends, and I went on a mission trip to Belize. I was in Belize with my church, and we helped little kids learn about the Bible, and we stayed in the capital city. My goals for this season are to start every single varsity game and for our team to win a couple games, hopefully. My goals in life are to be an equine orthopedic surgeon and to have a nice family. What I will remember about being a sailor is the family atmosphere that we have. I'm Sierra Harrison. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just paying to power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the helpful all-your-home-needs place. I'm Terry, and this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology, where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailor. My name is Tyler Dolan. I'm a junior. I wear number five, and I play small forward. I've been playing basketball ever since third grade. I also like playing lacrosse and football. I'd like to go to college at CU Boulder. If I play sports in college, I would play lacrosse. In 10 years, I see myself with a successful job and a happy life. Outside of school, I'm also involved in lacrosse, basketball, and football. My favorite subject in school is AP Physics because it's very interesting to me. My favorite movie is Talladega Nights because shake and bake. Last summer, I had lots of fun with my friends. We jumped off a bridge into the river a lot, and it was pretty fun doing flips and stuff. My goals for this season are to win the league championship and win at least two playoff games. My goals for life are to have a happy life and be successful. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the friendships I made with my teammates. My name is Tyler Dolan. I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hey, Sailor basketball fans. P.J. Wartson of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! This is Skip Yerdo from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is the Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Lana Pivarnik, and I'm a senior in high school. This year, I will be number 14, and I will be playing pretty much every position. And I have been playing basketball for 10 years, and it's the only sport that I play. I don't really know where I plan to go to college. I've applied to eight so far this year, and I'm going to apply to three more, so we'll see where I end up. I don't plan on playing in college. In 10 years, I see myself living in the woods, which is also one of my life goals, because it sounds really peaceful and relaxing. Outside of school, I'm highly involved in the drama troupe. My favorite subject in school is math, because I really like solving problems. My favorite movie is Kingsman because it has some really cool action going on and it's really comedic. Last summer I hiked to Machu Picchu with my mom and one of my really good friends and our guide Josias and it was a really fun time. We summited a mountain that was 15,000 feet tall which is higher than any point in the United States and it was a really good time. Got to see some jungles and some mountains and there are definitely aliens. I learned that after that trip. My goals for the season are just to have a really good time with my teammates because we're 
more of a family now and just to hang out with them. And my goals for life, as I stated before, are to live in the woods, but actually to have a, just like have a good life and enjoy myself and be happy. What I will remember most about being a sailor is freezing to death on the short bus regularly, but having a good time regardless of that. My name is Alana Pivarnik. I'm a senior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Dima Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. Steamboat Dental Center Go Sailors! Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome back in, folks. I'm Lone Epstein live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium as we are just underway here after halftime. Two quick buckets for this Bulldogs team, extending this lead to 26 to 8. So Sailors girls looking to get back on track is there's probably some some good things and some bad things to say in the locker room here as Carly Landing is going to handle this ball. She tries the 15 footer, no good there, and back the other way it's Lexi Newton. Newton, number 11 for the. Bulldogs handles it. She's going to have it far side, top corner. Kicks it over to Jesse Mello. And now it's cross court over to Mackeskill. She drives in along the baseline. And Shelby Weiss is going to take the charge there. Great job there from Weiss as she'll draw the offensive foul. Candy bars for Weiss, number 30, the sophomore. So that's a turnover there. Sailors have the ball. Weiss has already put in four points this afternoon. Epstein has two, and Sierra Harrison has two as well. Carly Landing moving left to right, finds Shelby Weiss. She tries to put up the 15-footer. It's blocked straight up in the air, gathers or gathers the ball, though. Kicks it out to Pavarnik, and now it's J.C. May, top of the key. Drives past the pick over to Sierra Harrison outside. Takes the lane. Can't get that one to fall. Rebound by Pavarnik under the baseline. Spin move, and can't get that one to drop either as it stood and bounced there on the rim for what seemed like forever. It's Lexi Newton now back the other way. 5.58 left to go in this third quarter of action. Newton controls the ball. She's going to kick it over inside to Kyle Miller who puts up the layup and that one's good. Miller, number 23 for this Bulldogs team. The senior. Sailors trying to work past this full court press. 28 to 8 is your score. Pavarnik now got two on her. Finds Weiss out of the corner of her eye. Kicks it out to Landing. She tries the three pointer and it's just up and over the rim. Luckily, it's rebounded by Sierra Harrison. Kicked up top to JC May. She drives in and gets the layup to fall. Nice job there from JC May. Trying to close the gap here on this team. So. J.C. May gets her first two points of the game, and it's back the other way for the Bulldogs. We're going to see an immediate three-point try here from Alexandra Mackeskill, and as you can probably tell by my voice, she hits it. Mackeskill extending extending this lead 31-10 to now, 4.52 left to play. And Sierra Harrison just loses it for a second, and it goes out of bounds, but it looks like that was off of the Bulldogs so Sailors will have it under the basket not before a timeout here from Coach Raper and Coach Ibarra 
The girls trading points here early as 31 to 10 is your score. 4.48 left to go as we enter this timeout. I want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors here Alpine Lumber Employee Owned and Operated. Contractor's Choice, the homeowner's friend, Steemo Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Woody and the team or check them out online at SteemoDentalCenter.com. Mountain View Car Wash helping the sailors clean the competition. Located between Town and McDonald's on Highway 40 and Russell's Auto Salon. Your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Russell's Auto Salon, 879-1515. And coming out of this timeout, Carly Lanning will throw it in for the girls in white. Lanning, number 33, the senior, calls for movement. Looks up top, finds J.C. May. She tries the three-pointer, airmailed, and saved from going out of bounds by Pavarnik. Unfortunately, it was right into the hands of Anita Ramos. Now it's a fast break, and the layup is no good, but it's going to be rebounded by Maxkill under the basket, and she tries to get the putback to go. Nothing doing there. Finally, it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Looks like last touch by Shelby Weiss. So Newton will be under the basket for the Bulldogs throwing this ball in. Newton finds Magaskill on the outside. Kicks it over to Kiowa Miller. And now it's Ramos handling the ball. Anita Ramos finds Miller. Stolen by Pavarnik. Pavarnik back the other way now. Moving left to right. Stops and gets the travel called on her. As, as she was looking for someone to pass to, she just kind of stuttered her way and an unfortunate turnover for this Sailors team. Nice hustle there from Pavarnik, though. So back the other way is going to be Newton. Alexi Newton handles it at the top of the key, gives it over to Anita Ramos, and now driving in is Kyle with Miller. Miller back to Ramos. She tries the three-pointer, and it's up, up, and no good as that ball goes out of bounds. So Sailors will have possession. Lanning throws it in. Outlet pass over to J.C. May. She'll take it up, moving left to right. 3.57 left to go. 31 to 10 is your score. It's Lanning over to Pavarnik. And now Weiss handles it near side low corner. She's got two on him. Splits the defenders. Goes up for the layup. Can't get it to fall, though. Nice hustle play there from the sophomore Shelby Weiss as that's just an unfortunate one. And now it's going to be stolen by Weiss back the other way. She's doing everything here as J.C. May will come up with it, handling it back the other way now. Shout out to my boy Tyler Doyne here in the press box looking to have a big game. And uh, Sailor's girls now can't get the quick layups to fall. Two putbacks fail to go in. So Lexi Newton comes out with it. Kyle Miller, near side top corner. She finds Macaskill over to Anita Ramos. She tries the layup, gets her own rebound. Spin move, kicks it back out to Newton, and they're just going to slow it down now with three minutes to go. And it's Newton, top of the key, over to Miller. Near side, low corner to Ramos. Takes the baseline, gives it back out to Miller. And now Miller, number 23, 23 for this Bulldogs team. Tries to get the 16-footer to go. Nothing doing there. And the putback is by Jesse Mello, who gets fouled on that attempt. Doesn't get the basket, but she'll shoot too. Jesse Mello at the free throw line, number 22 for the Bulldogs. Right after this, we have Sailors Boys Basketball. As they have, they're coming off a tough loss to Glenwood. Back-to-back -back losses, actually, to Glenwood and to Fruta. They look to bounce back against this Bulldogs team. The first free throw from Mello is no good. As she gets set to take the second one. That one is up and uh, no good as well. So Sailors catch a break there as the two free throws, none of them fall. And it's J.C. May back the other way, moving left to right on the radio dial. Hand off over to Weiss, top of the key. Goes in, finds Lanning on the outside. Three-point attempt is no good. That's Lanning's fourth three-pointer of the game. Can't get it to the fall. And now it's a fast break by Macaskill. She gets that layup to fall. Macaskill just torched the Steamboat Sailors defense, extending this lead 33-10. to We've got 2-12 to play. Lanning handles it. J.C. May. 
Low side to Sierra Harrison. Now it's up top over to Erica Simmons. She's at the top of the key. Bounce pass to Lanning. She's behind the arc. Cross court over to Weiss. Weiss now back over to Lanning. She tries the deep two. No good there as the 18-footer couldn't fall. Her heels were on the three-point line. Back the other way is going to be Lexi Newton. Newton, Kyle Miller now. Back over to Newton. They're just moving this around the horn. As Newton's going to wait here for a second, try to run this clock down a bit. 1.39 left to go. It's Kyle Miller back up top to Newton. Newton dribbles left, finds a Anita Ramos. Now it's cross court back to Miller. Up top to Newton, over to Ramos, near far side. Top of the key to Newton. Back to Ramos, pump fake back to Newton. They're just trying to waste the time, I think, off this clock. It's finally going to be... Tipped out of bounds by Carly Laning as she looked like she had enough of the games. So the Bulldogs will throw it in here and have another possession. Number 15, uh, Magdalena Latek came in the game. She came in for Lexi Newton, so it's Latek now. And she'll find her teammate, Jesse Mello, tries the 18-foot J. No good there. Gathered under the basket by Pavarnik. Somehow gets out of the trap. She had three on her. Now it's a bounce pass to Sierra Harrison. Puts up the 15-footer. No good there. And it looks like there was a foul on the Sailors there. Yeah, that was Shelby Weiss getting the push call. So Mackeskill will throw it in for the Bulldogs. Outlet pass over to Latek. Latek down, number 15 for the Bulldogs. Kicks it outside. It's Jesse Mello. Mello back to Latek. Over to Ramos. Up top to Latek. Near side top corner to Mello. She's got May on her. Now it's back to Latek. They're just trying to move this ball around the horn. We've got 29 seconds to play as Mello handles it. Up top to Latek. Just playing pitch and catch here. As Salo's trying to interject somehow, maybe get an interception, tip it out of bounds once more. It's Mello trying to find Mackeskill on the inside, and she just fumbles it, goes out of bounds. So with 12.6 left to go, Sailors looks like looks like this they'll get another shot at this one. As Erica Simmons handles it. She drives in and there's going to be a push call here on the Bulldogs. Nice job there from Simmons drawing that foul. Looks like that was Anita Ramos drawing that. So with seven seconds to go here, it's J.C. May. Pucks one up, and that one's good. J.C. May with the heave gets it to fall, and that'll do it for this third quarter of action. So 33-12 is your score after that J.C. May lay-in. I'm Lowen Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM, or you can find us on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back for this final frame on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. You can find us on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back for this final frame on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. What do you guys Bridget think? here from Steamboat 8. Come and we aren't just paint some power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful styles to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8. Proud to support your Steamboat sailors. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the helpful all your home needs place. Welcome back in, folks. I'm Lowen Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, announcing this girls' basketball game. Sailors ladies are currently down 33-12 to as we get set for this final frame of action. And right off the bat will be the Bulldogs handling the ball. Guroy tries to find Latek, just goes overhead, but it's going to be gathered by... Allison Bollinger. It's Latek now at the top of the key, and JC May is going to get in her way and draw the foul there. May, number 21, the sophomore. 
will get the first foul of this quarter. Bollinger will be on the throw in. She finds Latek. Latek now at the top of the key back to Bollinger. She's near side top corner. Kicks it down low over to Jesse Norton. Norton back up to Latek. Inside now, it's going to be Morgan Selden getting her first minutes of the game as she tried to find Bollinger on the outside. It looks like it just went over her head and it went out of bounds. So Sailors will have this ball once more. Simmons takes it up court. She's moving left to right. Finds Weiss, far side, top corner. Weiss doesn't know where to go with it. Kicks it outside to J.C. May. Loses it for a second. Gathers it, though, and looks inside for Weiss. But it's going to be a jump ball call as Selden got wrapped up in that one. So this ball will be... Sailor's possession. 7.19 to go. 33-12 to 12 is your score. It's J.C. May. Finds Pavarnik in the corner. Baseline. Tries to put up the layup. Doesn't get it to go, but she'll get fouled. So, Lana Pavarnik will head to the free throw line. Number 14 for the Sailor's team. The junior. Excuse me. The senior. Pavarnik's first free throw is no good. And second one misses as well. So now it's Selden back the other way. Tries to find Latek up top, but it's just going to be intercepted. Shelby Weiss, the ball hawk, going up and getting that one. And it's Sierra Harrison back the other way. Over to J.C. May, pump fake, drives in, kicks it out to Harrison. Back up top to... Simmons, and now it's Weiss handling it at the top of the key. Tries the three-point attempt. No good there, and she'll get tripped up. Looks to be a little shaken up there. It was luckily gathered by J.C. May, though, and no whistle as Pavarnik handles it over to Simmons. Hand off to Weiss. She's behind the arc now. Sierra Harrison has it at the top of the key. Harrison drives in, kicks it out to May. May now top of the key back to Pavarnik. Pavarnik to Weiss. She tries another three-pointer in and out. Unlucky there as Weiss couldn't get that one to fall. So with 6.22 left, 33-12 to 12 is your score. And handling the ball is Allison Bollinger. Bollinger at the top of the key. We've seen a, some lengthy possessions for this this Bulldogs team is the, they're just mostly trying to run out the clock here. Latek handles it and JC May gets her hand in there. It's going to be tipped out and gathered by Simmons. Nice defensive effort here from the Sailors as they're sick of watching the ball just move around the horn ten times. And Pavarnik goes up for the layup. Can't get it to go. Gathers her own rebound and now there will be a jump ball call here. And it looks like this will be Bulldogs possession. 33 to 12 with 5:51 to go. Alexis Marishak will be getting her first minutes of the game here. She'll take out Bollinger. Marishak, the freshman, getting her first minutes, and it's Selden now at the top of the key. Selden over to Guroy. Guroy now looks inside. Nice pass to. Jet Reese Norton couldn't get the layup to fall though and the rebound is finally gathered by Pavarnik Out, outlet pass over to JC May and uh, the deep two is going to be tried by Sierra Harrison no good there Magdalena Latek will come out with the rebound Latek handles it over to Guroy back up to Latek inside now to Marishak and there's going to be a whistle here They're going to get Shelby Weiss for the hold. She looks pretty disappointed there. You can see her frustration. Good thing, one thing from this Sailors team, though, is that they haven't been in a lot of foul trouble. As, as we've been saying in the past, since really the season started, at this point in the game, we'd have seen them in the bonus a while ago. And that's one thing I think they've worked on quite a bit is just controlling themselves and not not getting into this foul trouble, but as I say that, Marishak goes up for the layup and gets fouled, so she's at the line shooting two. First free throw is going to be no good, and Carly Lang will come in for Weiss as Marishak's at the line getting ready for her second one. This free throw is going to be in, as that one will be good. 
So 34 to 12 now is your score. We've got five minutes to go. It's JC May trying to do a little hesitation move. Gets travel. Gets the travel call called on her. So that's another turnover by the Sailors. Latek over to Guroy. Guroy now, Guroy now back to Latek. And now it's Marischek. She's got Sierra Harrison on her. Over to Latek inside now. And the spin around J is good. That was Reese Norton extending this lead 36 to 12. We got 4.45 left to play. And JC May handles the ball. May up top to Simmons. Over to Carly Lanning. Tries the three point attempt. No good there. And it's Latek. Crossing over, splitting through defenders, doing a good job here this evening. Finds her teammate. That was Morgan Selden on the baseline layup. Can't get that one to fall. Rebound by May. 419 left to play in this game. 36-12. Simmons handles the ball, drives in, and not sure where that was going. It just goes off the edge of the backboard before being tipped out of bounds by Guroy. This will stay a Oh, no, they're saying it was tipped out of bounds by Erica Simmons, so the Bulldogs will have the ball. Guroy now number four for the Bulldogs. Looks in, finds Marishak. She gets that layup to fall. More points here for the Bulldogs with four minutes to play. It's Pavarnik now driving inside. She'll get that one stolen away. And Latek goes up for the layup. No good there, but does get fouled. She'll head to the line for two more. 38-12. As this Palisade team has come in here and really shown the Sailors how it's done. Looks like Weiss will be coming back in here as JC May mm, comes out for maybe the last time. Latek gets set to take her second free throw, first free throw, excuse me. And it's in and out. I want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors here, Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more by offering our customer, customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. The second free throw from LaTeX is good. 39 to 12 with 345 left to go. Pavarnik comes back the other way, moving left to right, loses it for a second. And foul called here against the Bulldogs as, Lete as Latek just drove in and pushed Pavarnik. So inbounds pass will be Simmons. Finds Lanny, another deep two-pointer is no good. Luckily, Pavarnik gathers the rebound, takes it out and hits the J. Nice job there from Lana Pavarnik, the senior, as she gets the 15-footer to fall. Those are her first points of the game. As back the other way now is the Bulldogs. And the and one layup by Kyle Miller. Excuse me, that was Reese Norton once more. That's good. But it looks like they're going to say there was a charging foul there. Who was that on? So Shelby Weiss takes the charge. Second one of the game. So there's a turnover there. Layup does not count. We've got three minutes to play here. Nice job there from Weiss. Simmons now tries to find landing. It'll be picked off by Latek. Goes up for the layup. Can't get it to fall, but she does get fouled. So Latek will be at the line shooting too. This is definitely a tough one for the Sailors today as they've only managed to muster up about 14 points. They're in the bonus now with 2.56 left to go. And Latek's first free throw is off the front iron, no good. She's having one heck of a game, about six points here this afternoon, number 15 for the Bulldogs. Latek's second free throw is no good as well. Rebound back gathered by Lanning. Trying to get some extra points here as time's going to run out shortly with 2.50 left to play. It's Weiss, tries the three-pointer off the front iron, no good there. Selden and Sierra Harrison both trying to grab that rebound jump ball. Sailors will get that call. They'll have possession. Shelby Weiss leading the way with all, for all scores tonight. She's got four points. Epstein has two. Sierra Harrison has two. Pavarnik has two. And JC May has two. And just like as I was saying that, 
Another. Who was that? That was a three pointer from Carly Lanning. Sorry, I was looking at my stat sheet there as Lanning hit the three. First one of the game, 17 to 39 is your score. So as the Bulldogs were taking it back the other way, it looks like Latex stepped out of bounds. So this will be a Sailors possession. But before that, we'll have another timeout from Coach Raper and Coach Ibarra. 39-17, I'm Lone Epstein, live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. And 2.13 left to go in this game. Another quick shout-out to our sponsors here, UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you are feeling shorthanded. Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Are your friends coming to town? Call us at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. And Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car, along with the Yampa Valley Bank, the, Yamp the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. Steamboat Boys getting ready to take the court here after this girls game wraps up. They've been playing really exciting all year. I think their record is 7-6, six, 6-6, and six, and six, something like that. As right out of the timeout, it's Erica Simmons. Simmons finds why she drives in, and she'll get fouled. It'll just be a... I'm not sure if she got her motion up in time to get called for the shooting foul. And, uh, yep, it'll just be a possession foul. Landing on the inbounds pass, finds Pavarnik. Up top over to Simmons, back to Landing. She tries the three-pointer, that one's good. Landing. Two three-pointers now. 39 to 20 is your score. We've got a buck 53 to go, and that means Landing is leading the way with six points for this Sailors team. Carly Landing, nice job there. After the ensuing possession, the Bulldogs stepped out of bounds, so back the other way is Carly Lanning moving left to right. She outlet passes to Simmons. Simmons drives in, finds Sierra Harrison, and before that, there's going to be a whistle. It looks like a double dribble, so that's another turnover there with a buck 30 to go. Latek handles it for the Bulldogs. Magdalena Latek over to Selden. And now this is going to be Kyle Miller. Selden inside to Miller, drives in, tries to get the layup, and doesn't get it to fall, but does get fouled. So Kyle Miller will head to the line to shoot two. She's wearing number 23. We've got a buck 15 left to go. Sailors down by 19. Much better game than we're used to seeing. This might be one of their better games of the season if they've managed to hold so far at least this Bulldogs team under 40 points first free throw is no good by Miller second one is up and in so excuse me they they're at 40 points now and only a 20 point deficit for the girls in white it's Weiss now taking along the baseline gets the layup to fall Shelby Weiss with her fifth and sixth points of the game quickly now it's Latek inside just going to get stolen away by Carly Lanning, tipped out of bounds by Latex. so Sailors will have possession with under a minute to play here. It's Erica Simmons. Simmons, number two for the Sailors, the freshman, drives in, switches hands, finds Lanning on the outside. Three-point attempt is no good. She's hit two of those tonight. And the rebound's gathered by Sierra Harrison. Turn around, Jay hits it. Nice job there from Sierra Harrison. The sophomore so Kyle Miller back the other way was 
fouled by Lana Pavarnik. So the Sailors are in the bonus now, so this means that Miller will head to the free throw line to shoot free throws. 24 to 40. Sailors down. We've got 33 seconds to go here as Miller's free throw is no good. It was a one and one, so Sailors have it back the other way. It looks like before that possession, though, we're going to see a timeout from Coach Raper and Coach Ibarra. You'll be able to hear Mr. Brian Harvey a little later as he'll be on the call for the Sailors versus Regis Jesuit hockey game. Should be a good one as last night was senior night for the Sailors. And they're, they're looking to put together a good team this year. You can hear us talk about them on No Boundaries, which is Lawton Chase's show, or Harvey's Huddle, which is hosted by Brian Harvey. So after this timeout here, 40 to 24 is your score. We've got 31 seconds to play. And this will be a Sailor's ball. Weiss will be on the throw in. She finds Erica Simmons. Simmons, number two for the Sailors. Drives in, handoff to Pavarnik. Pavarnik now out to Lanning. She tries the deep three-pointer. No good there. We've got 20 seconds to play. It's Latek. Latek takes it up. Drives in, finds Miller. Miller spins around and slows it down. It's Latek at the top of the key. 11 seconds to work. And it's Guroy back to Latek in. Guroy handles it. It looks like Guroy will end it, but no, it's going to be tipped out of bounds at the last second by Carly Lanning. And it doesn't matter, though. That'll do it here for the girls in white. 40 to 24 is your final score here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium. Sailors fall to 0 and 13 on the season. 0 and 33 the past two years. Still looking for that first win. And right after this, we're going to see the Steamboat Boys look to take on the Palisade Bulldogs in what looks to be a good matchup. I'm Lone Epstein live here on 98.9 KTYV, also on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back to you on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. Here on 98.9 KTYV, also on SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back to you on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. On the Docs Auto Clinic. Yampa Valley Bank. Alpine Lumber. Mountain View Car Wash. Steamboat Dental Center. And Chris Bucket with Denver Joe. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. And check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball. It was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance. The Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And and Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. Sports on F. 98.9 presents Steamboat Sailors Basketball, only on 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace. Proud to support your Steamboat sailors. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the helpful all your home needs place. Steamboat Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. 
Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the Moody's on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Jake Berry. I am a senior, and my number is four. I play shooting guard. I've been playing basketball for 12 years. I also like to play soccer. I'd like to go to college at uh, CU in Boulder. Um, I'm not going to play any sports besides intramurals. In 10 years, I see myself living in a big house with a hot wife. Outside of school, I am also involved in just working and hanging out with friends. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off because slow is hot. Last summer, I just worked at the Boys and Girls Club and hung out in town. My goals for this season are to win league and make it to the second round of state playoffs. And my goals for life is to be an architectural engineer. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the brotherhood with my teammates. I'm Jake Berry. I'm a senior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Samantha Kennedy. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is four. I usually play guard or point guard. I've been playing for seven years. I also play lacrosse after basketball season. I would like to go to college at U of A in Arizona. I don't know if I'll play a sport in college. It would be fun to play lacrosse in college. I would love to be a lawyer after college or just as my job. Outside of school, I work a lot with my parents. My parents own a store called The Homesteader, and I help them, and my mom makes chocolate there, so I help them make chocolate. My favorite subject in school would probably be French class. I really love learning about French just because I use it. I would use it a lot more than Spanish because my mom's from Switzerland, so everyone speaks French over there on her side. My favorite movie would probably be Ace Ventura with Pet Detective because I've watched it since I was little. I've always wanted to be like a detective, and then I love animals. It's kind of a good mixture. Last summer, I went to some basketball camps. I went to a backpacking camp that was a week long um, down in Wyoming at the Wind River Wildlife Place. So I just went by myself, and there was people from all around the country came, and there was about like seven of us, and it was a mixture between boys and girls. I was really scared at first because I never met these people, and then I was about to go backpacking for six days. It was really fun. We ended up ending early, like our backpacking trip ended early. Then we just kind of like swam. We did a lot of rock climbing. That was, fun. So that was my highlight of the summer. My goals for this year is just to do good, I guess. I don't know, to score as many points as I can. What I remember most about being a sailor is how the team acts with each other and how we all become friends after and during the season and how we just like start to get to know each other a lot better and then we just make more friends. Um, my name is Samantha Kennedy. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9.
Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Hey, Taylor basketball fans, P.J. Wardson of Yampa Valley Bank, here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student-athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and go Sailors! This is Skip Yerdorf from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is the Colorado company that is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Katie Lake, and I'm a sophomore at Steamboat Springs High School. I'm number 11, and I play, I guess, all over for basketball, but mainly point guard. I also like to play soccer and swim team, and I sort of just recently picked up swim team. It was super fun. My favorite stroke is probably breaststroke. No, no, no. My favorite stroke is butterfly. butterfly. Yeah. I'd like to go to college at Broad Institute of MIT to be a biomedical engineer. I want to play basketball in college, but I don't really know if that's going to happen, so hope so. And in 10 years, I see myself maybe getting my PhD. Not so sure about that yet. Outside of school, I'm also really involved in... Oh, shoot, I forgot to read this question. Outside of... Uh, wait, you know what? I don't really... Homework? Maybe? Outside of school. Too much homework. Too much homework. It's ridiculous. Uh, my favorite subject in school is biology first and then history uh, with Miss Copeland. Biology because it just clicks for me. My favorite movie... I don't really have a favorite movie. Yeah, no. I just really like movies. They're good. They're fun. Last summer, I... Oh, goodness. I went... No. Oh, I did a lot of PT rehabbing my knee because um, I tore my ACL about a year ago. So I was playing soccer and I dislocated my knee. So my tibia or tibia, I can't remember which one's the thigh bone or which one's the calf bone. But the thigh bones went over the calf bone and um, my ACL just tore because it was stretched too far. My goals for the season are, I guess, to become a more reliable three-point shooter because that's something I definitely need to work on. It's my shot. And my goals for life are just to be happy and make a positive difference in the world, specifically with, I guess, genomics or stem cell research, which will be really fun. What I remember most about being a sailor is definitely my team because they're what makes it really, really fun to play basketball. And my name is Katie Lake. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also 
are cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detailed services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Dawson Lindquist. I'm a sophomore. I'm number 22. I play forward. I've been playing basketball ever since about fifth grade. I also like track and field. I like the high jump. I'd like to go to a college out of state, preferably, but it doesn't really matter to me. I would like to play basketball in college or I jump for a track and field. I see myself in 10 years living a happy life, staying connected with all the guys I met in high school and my friends. Outside of school, I am also involved in a um, a job. My favorite subject in school is math. My favorite movie is Finding Nemo. Last summer, I made some really good memories with my friends, and I worked a lot, got a lot of money, so it was pretty fun. My goals for this season are to have the best season, the most fun that I've had since I've been in high school. My goals for life are to create a lot of good habits, to have a good-paying job, and to be happy. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the respect and and humility that all the players show, and it's just fun to be around them. I'm Dawson Lindquist. I'm a sophomore. Proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. This is Skip Beardor from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is the Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's right. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Welcome in, folks. I'm Lone Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, as we're just about a minute or two away from tip-off as this Steamboat Springs boys basketball team gets set to take on the Palisade Bulldogs. As we're just coming off of the girls' game, they took a tough loss to the Bulldogs. They fall to 0-13 on the season. Still looking at that for that first win of the game. And uh, the Sailor boys looking to come off of a two-game losing streak after losing at home to Fruita Monument, which might have been the best team they've seen all year, and then dropping a surprising one in Glenwood to the Demons. Mac Rineker, he had 31 points against through to Monument about a week ago, and then he had seven versus the Demons, so he's looking to bounce back here. Rineker, number 20 for the boys in white. Sailors today in all-white jerseys with red numbers, red sailors written across their chest, and red trim. Starting lineup today for the Sailors is going to be Tyler Doyne, the six foot four junior, Mac Rineker, the six foot four junior, Aiden Kanaus, the six foot four ju- junior, Jake Berry, the senior, listed at six foot one, and. It looks like Ethan Piles will be getting the start as well. Quinn Connell out for another game here as they're wanting to have him back. He's been a huge part of this team this season. But until then, the younger guys are going to have to step up, and I'm talking about Ethan Piles and Dawson Lindquist. Piles will be getting the start today as uh, he'll be sport number 23 for the, for the Sailors. And Mac Rineker will be taking the tip off, number 24, the boys in white. 
And we're underway here, folks, as Mac Rineker will lose the opening tip off, but it's going to be gathered by Ethan Piles, so Tyler Doyne off the inbounds pass will find. Jake Barry at the top of the key. It's worked around the horn now. Jake Barry immediately tries a three-pointer. Air ball there. And it's going to be saved by Mac Rineker showing off his athleticism. And it's in the corner now. Barry lines up another three. Decides not to take it. And now it's inside of Knauss. Knauss now looks over. Finds Barry. Back out to Knauss. He tries a three-pointer. And that one's in and out. Rebound by Doyne. Drives in. Kicks it out to Barry. And it's finally slowed down with Doyne in the corner. Back up to Barry. Barry at the top of the key. Goes between his legs. Finds Finds low side to Knauss, inside to Piles, pulls up from 15, that one's good. Ethan Piles, great job there, getting the first two points of the game. Already surpassed his Piles count, as he said it was one and a half before the game. So with 7.05 to go, the Sailors lead. It's the Bulldogs now, this is number 21, Jacob Mattingly handling it. Mattingly over to... Sebastian Campbell. Campbell at the top of the key looks to be the point guard for this Bulldogs team today. He's going to find his teammate inside. That's Zane Haas. And Haas tries to feed it over to Mattingly, but it just goes off the toe of him and out of bounds. So this is going to be a Sailors basketball. Back the other way now is Jake Berry, number four, the lone senior on this team. He'll kick it over to Ethan Piles, top of the key. Piles now. Over to Barry, far side, top corner. Back to Piles, low side to Doyne. Doyne now number five for the Sailors. Back up top to Ethan Piles. Piles over to Jake Barry, almost takes the three-pointer. Instead finds Rineker on the inside, goes up for the layup, but gets blocked. And we're not used to seeing that as he just got that one tipped away. And so Logan Tarman will bring it back for the Bulldogs. Tarman now at the top of the key. Looks inside, finds Haas. Haas now over to Mattingly, far side top corner. Back up top to Logan Tarman. Excuse me, this is Sebastian Campbell. He goes low side and finds his teammate Mattingly, who hits the three-pointer from the low corner. Mattingly getting the first points of this game for the... Palisade Bulldogs. 3-2 to two now. Bulldogs lead. It's Mac Reneker handling it. He kicks it outside. It's Ethan Piles. Jump pass over to Knaus. Now it's inside. Back to Piles. And he's in the post. Doesn't know where to go with it. Finds Barry. Goes up for the layup. Gets blocked again. And that looked to be a foul from up here, but obviously not as the refs didn't call it. So this will be Sebastian Campbell handling it. Up to Tarman, top of the key. Inside now, it's going to be Watts Herb. Herb now kicks it outside to Haas, and he tries the 12-footer. No good. Air ball right in the hands of Doyne. Goes behind his back and kicks it outside in. Canals back out to Doyne. Doyne now over to Barry, near side top corner. Back to Doyne. Doyne calls for some movement as he runs it around the horn, finds... Ethan, excuse me, Mac Rineker at the top of the key. Now posting up is Aiden Knaus, and he goes up for the layup, finally gets fouled, and he'll head to the line for two. So a low-scoring affair in this first two minutes of the game as Aiden Knaus, who we call Frosty due to his bleach blonde hair, is at the line shooting two. First one is no good. We're going to see Dawson Linquist, number 22, the sophomore, come in for Tyler Doyne. And uh, the second free throw is good from Aiden Knaus. So Knaus notches one here for the Sailors. And a smart play there from Mac Rineker after the inbounds pass from Sebastian Campbell was caught by Rineker and then thrown off of the back of him. So this will be a Sailors possession after the free throws from, Rin from Knaus. Rineker posting up, and before he can get the basket to go, he gets called for the travel. We saw this last week versus the Glenwood Demons as, you know, those post moves inside from, Min from Rineker, the, the uh, spin move and the pivots, those get called as travels all the time. And... So after the, as I was talking there, there was a time violation from the Bulldogs as 
That was Sebastian Campbell. Couldn't get it off in time. So another possession here for the Sailors. It's Lindquist catching the inbounds pass, going up for it. Can't get the put back to go, and it's going to go right to the hands of the Palisade Bulldogs. It's Sebastian Campbell looking inside. Finds Watts Herb. Herb now kicks outside to Haas. Haas back out to Campbell. Top of the key now. It's going to be Logan Tarman. Tarman working versus Ethan Piles. Takes it near side, top corner. Bounce pass into Haas. Haas outside to Campbell. He tries the three-pointer. That one's no good. And the rebound's going to be gathered by Haas. Slowing it down now is Logan Tarman. Scores all tied up at 3-3. to three. It's Watts Herb handling it. Out to Campbell. And it's going to be picked off by Rineker. Goes up and gets the dunk. Mac Rineker showing what it's all about. As he goes up and throws it down. And he... He just brought electricity to this gym here. Mac Rineker doing big things. 5-3 is your score as the floater from Haas is no good. And Ethan Piles comes back with it. Spin move inside, finds Rineker. Rineker on the outside, low corner. And kicks it out to Linquist. Linquist now goes between his legs. Lose it for a second, and it's going to be gathered by the Bulldogs. And that was Watts Herb sliding on the ground, and he's going to get he'll get called for the travel. As early here, we're going to see Connor Hansen check into the game. Usually he's a last 30-second type of guy as he's a young sophomore. But since Quinn Connell's out, like we said yesterday, or in the pregame, I'm sorry, we're going to see guys like this getting some time. So Connor Hansen really proving his worth here. He'll be running point guard now for the Sailors. Number two. He's got the white sleeves on under his jersey. Kicks it out to Rineker over to Kanaus. Kanaus now no look pass to Linquist over to Hansen. Connor Hansen back up top to Rineker. Rineker at the top of the key. Spin move and decides on Aiden Kanaus. He tries the three-pointer in and out in there. Gathered by Hansen, though, in the paint. And Hansen finds Rineker at the top of the key. They're going to slow it down here, get the, co- get the call from Coach Van Dahl. It's Rineker handling it. Low side to, to Hansen. Hansen looks for Rineker, decides on Barry instead of the top of the key. Hand off to Linquist. He backs up and takes it, but he'll get called for the travel as Dawson Linquist can't get that one to fall. Tyler Dorn will check back in here for Mac Rineker. It looks like he just needs a breather. 5-3 is your score. 2.50 to go. It's a really low scoring affair early here. And after that travel call on Linquist, this will be the Bulldogs' ball. Kevin Loya handling the ball. Looks inside for Watts Herb, and he'll, he'll get blocked by Aiden Kanaus. As Kanaus came flying in and just said, not in my house. So it goes out of bounds. This will be Palisade ball. It's Sandesh Adaraki on the throw-in. Finds Logan Tarman. Tries the three ball. No good there. Gathered by Doyne back the other way. Sailors moving right to left on the radio dial. It's Linquist, top of the key, over to Doin. Doin now, up top to Jake Barry, low side to Doin. Goes behind his back, step backs, doesn't decide to take it. Instead, he kicks it out to Linquist, back over to Kanaus now, over to Barry, far side, and it's inside to Kanaus. Kanaus went up for it. It looked like there was a foul there, but they're going to get Kanaus for the travel. So we've seen four travel calls here in this first quarter as Connor Hansen and Aiden Kanaus will both step out. And it looks like Rineker will come back in along with Doyne. A little miscommunication there as the throw-in from the Bulldogs was tipped out of bounds by their own teammate. That was Logan Tarman getting it tipped off of his shoe. So this will be another Sailor's possession. Rineker on the inbounds pass, giving go to Doyne, goes along the baseline, almost steps out of bounds, gets it to Piles, cross court to Doyne. Doyne now drives in, kicks it back out to Linquist. Linquist now goes baseline, underhand pass over to Rineker, kicks it out to Doyne in the corner, tries the three ball, no good there. Gathered by the Palisade Bulldogs with a buck 45 to go. It's Sebastian Campbell taking it up for this Palisade team. Looks inside, finds Herb. Herb now, number 14. 
kicks it down low. It's Kevin Loya getting her first minutes of the game. Loya out to Haas. Now it's back to Loya in the corner. Loya up top. This is Adaraki. Adaraki now over to Sebastian Campbell. And Campbell now out to Adaraki. Back inside to Herb. Tries to get the layup to go. No good there. Tyler Toyne looks like he might have fouled. And he was surprised there was no whistle there. Is this Jake Barry back the other way? Pull up three. No good. And it's going to be tipped out of bounds. Not sure who that was off. They're going to give it to the Bulldogs, though. 5-3 to three with a buck oh six to go. It's Sandesh Adaraki on the throw, and he'll find Kevin Loya. Loya now taking it up near side and spins around, finds Sebastian Campbell on the outside, drives in, and Tyler Toyne will get called for the charge. Taking the charge there, he got his... He got the wind knocked out of him, it looked like, as Kevin Loya came in along that baseline cooking just drove his shoulder into Doyne. Coach is going to keep him in, though, as they know he's a huge factor on this team. So after that turnover there, this will be Sailor's ball. Rineker handles it near near side, low corner, up to Tyler Doyne at the top of the key. Doyne now out to Piles. Piles over to Linquist. Linquist now far side to Jake Barry. And now he looks inside, decides on Rineker outside. Rineker over to Doyne now, near side top corner. Up top over to Piles. Now it's back down low to Rineker, and he gets it tipped out, but handles it well and keeps keeps holding it. Now he's along the baseline, goes up for it. And before they can do that there, they're going to get him for another travel call. This is really crazy to see, folks, as they've got Rine Mac Rineker for two two or three travel calls already here in this first quarter and you, you know coach van Dahl does not like that it looks like jared brown will get his first minutes of the game he'll come in for watts herb and now it's sandesh Adaraki taking up the court trying to break this full court press he finds kevin loya loya in the corner goes along the baseline kicks it back out though it's Adaraki. Adaraki now at the top of the key over to campbell Campbell now, he's going to slow it down. There's five seconds to go, and Palisade's going to get this last possession in the quarter. Campbell pulls up from three-point range, but before finds his teammate, and the Zane Haas could not get down a fall. So after this first quarter of action, your score is 5-3. to three. That's all the points these two teams could muster up. I'm Lowen Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM or SteamboatSpringsRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Sailor Sports Connection for this second quarter of play. On KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM or SteamboatSpringsRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Sailor Sports Connection for this second quarter of play. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat sailors. Live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium as your Steamboat Spring Sailors are taking on the Palisade Bulldogs in a close one here. Your score is 5-3 to three after that first quarter of action, and the Bulldogs will get it started right away for this second frame, and it'll be Kevin Loya taking it up. He goes along the baseline, spins out, finds Haas on the outside. Haas now near side, top corner, decides to pivot, find Campbell driving in, bounce pass over to Adam Rock, he can't handle it, goes out of bounds, Sailor's ball. 7.41 to go. You know Coach Vandal just told him to shoot more. There wasn't a lot of shots there. Is That's why this score is only 5-3. to three. So Jake Barry, handoff, and it's Ethan Piles looking inside for Rineker. Kicks it back out to Barry, tries the three-pointer. That one's good. A falling fadeaway shot from Jake Barry is nothing but net. And just like that, the Sailors getting it going here early in this second quarter. 
Jake Barry with his first points of the game. It's Sebastian Campbell now handling it for the Bulldogs. He kicks it down to Loy. It goes along the baseline, pulls up, and can't get the easy land to fall. So 8-3 to three is your score now with 6.55 to go. Jake Barry, crossover, finds Rineker on the outside. Rineker looking for somewhere to go, decides on Barry. Barry runs around the pick, goes in, fade away, pull up Jay, and that one's in and out. As that's a heat check there from Barry. So back the other way now is going to be Sebastian Campbell calling out the plays. Number three for this Palisade team. Finds Loya inside. Nice pass inside to Haas. Can't get the layup to fall, though. It's going to be stolen, though. And that's Sebastian Campbell going on the ground versus Ethan Piles. It looks like it, the ball rolled out of bounds for a second. And they're going to say it was out of bounds on Ethan Piles, so Sebastian Campbell will handle it. It's Haas now at the top of the key off the inbounds pass. Finds L Loya, far side top corner. Works it around the horn. He's at the top of the key now. Adaraki. He's got piles on him, near side top corner. Adaraki now bounce pass into Haas, posting up, kicks it back out to Jarrett Brown. And now it's Brown back to Adaraki inside to Haas. Haas pulls up and can't get the fadeaway post move to go. Tough. As Mac Rineker handles it back the other way. Spin move, gets the layup. Wow, what a... What a show of athleticism here from Mac Rineker as he gets his second bucket of the game, extending this lead 10-3. to three. It's Palisade now. Over to Kevin Loya. Kevin Loya mishandled it. It looked like his last tipped out of bounds by Rineker, but they're going to give it to the Sailors. Nice heads-up defensive play there from Mac Rineker as Ethan Piles will be on the throw-in now with 5.35 left to go. Jake Haas has not been able to hit on his last five shots. He's standing at six foot eight, just towering over guys like Aiden Knaus and Mac Rineker. They expect him to put some points on the board. If Mac Rineker handles the ball, kicks it outside to Ethan Piles, finds a fumbling and stumbling in Canaus, and now it's back up top to Ethan Piles, kicks it out to Linquist, tries the three-pointer, no good there, but the rebound will be gathered by Jake Barry, who sent it right into the arms of Jared Brown. So back the other way is Palisade. Driving inside now, it's Jacob Mattingly. He tries to get the layup to go. It'll be blocked by Rineker. Back the other way, fast break. And Rineker goes up for the layup and gets the, draws the charging foul. Tough. Tough play for Mac Rineker is... That was a very debatable call there. So we're going to see a timeout here from the Palisade Bulldogs. They're down 10 to 3 with five minutes flat on the clock. I want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors here, Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. The Ampa Valley Bank, the Ampa Valley's only locally owned bank member, FDIC. And Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend, as well as Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witty and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. I'm Lowen Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM as we're in a pretty low scoring game here as it's 10 to 3 after Mac Rineker drove in and got called for the charge. So Kevin Loya will be on the inbounds pass trying to break this full court press set in place by the Sailors. Loya, number 35, getting ready to throw it in and here we go. Loya looks left, looks right, finds Mattingly. Mattingly trying to work it up. It's going to be tipped up by Ethan Piles, but it's right into the arms of Sebastian Campbell as he takes it in, puts up a fade shot. No good there. And it's going to be lastly touched by Aiden Knaus. So this will remain a Palisade ball as Sebastian Brown, excuse me, Sebastian Campbell will throw it in. Campbell looks left, looks right, is running out of time, throws it up for Mattingly. He gets it. And now it's Mattingly at the top of the key. Matting Lee over to Kevin Loya. Loya over to Jared Brown. 
Brown asking for the pick, doesn't get it. Instead finds Watts Herb at the top of the key. And now Sebastian Brown once more. He has not come out of the game yet, folks, as Kevin Loy handles it back over to Sebastian Campbell. We've got 422 to le left to play in this first half. Watts Herb handles it at the top of the key. And Sebastian Campbell looks like he'll just slow it down. He's got Rineker on him. Finally, he decides on Jared Brown, near side, top corner. Brown, top of the key, over to Herb, and it's going to be picked off by Matt Rineker. Fast break here for the Sailors. Behind the back pass to Knauss. Can't get the layup to fall, though. Oh, you've got to make that one as Matt Rineker split the defenders with the behind-the-back pass, and Knauss just couldn't get it to fall. And now on the other side, as Watts Herb tried to get the layup, Aiden Knauss fouls him, so Herb will be at the free throw line for two. Knauss number 14, he's got, he has, let's see, he's got one point on the days. So we're going to see Connor Hansen check in now for Ethan Piles. First free throw is good by Herb. 10 to 4 is your score. 346 left to play. Herb gets set for the second one, and that one's good. And quickly now it's the Sailors working its Connor Hansen along the baseline. Goes up, finds Linquist on the pass, and they're gonna get a pushing call. Yeah, that's gonna be a pushing call, so that's just a possession foul. So Mac Rineker will be back throwing it under the basket. He finds Jake Barry on the outside. Back into Rineker. Goes up. Gets the reverse layup. Nice job there from Mac Rineker. As he notches his fifth and sixth points of the game. And now trying to break this full court press. Just It's Sebastian Campbell. Campbell now number three for the boys in maroon. Works versus Jake Barry. Campbell inside now to Haas. Haas handoff over to Mattingly. Tries the three-pointer. No good there, but it's going to be gathered by Haas, and the putback is good. So Haas extends this lead. Ex excuse me, chips away at this lead. 12 to 7 is your score. And Rineker back the other way, and he gets another layup to go. Mac Rineker playing above everyone's level here today. As he's already at, he's got eight of these 14 points for the Sailors. And this is Mattingly now. Mattingly crosses up. Jake Barry gets him to slip a little bit. And it's Sebastian Campbell back the other way. We've got 2.45 left to go. 14-7 to is your score here in Kelly Meek Gymnasium as Kevin Loya handles it. Loya over to Sebastian Campbell. Now it's down low over to Mattingly. Kicked up top to Haas. Over to Loya. Now it's back to Campbell, top of the key. They're just trying to slow it down here. They've got 2.25 to go as Watt. Herb handles the ball near side top corner up to Haas. He's at the free throw line and it's going to be tipped away by Linquist but finally gathered by Campbell and now an inside pass intended for Mattingly is tipped out of bounds by Jake Barry. Clock will stop and this will be a Palisade possession. Dawson Linquist and Connor Hansen will both check out as Ethan Piles and Aiden Knauss will check back in. Sebastian Campbell on the inbounds pass finds his teammate Herb and he gets the quick layup to fall. 14-9 as the Palisade Bulldogs are chipping away at this one. It'll be Jake Barry taking it up. Barry goes around his D-man, kicks it out to Piles. He tries the three-pointer. No good there as he's been unlucky with those threes the past couple games. And uh, it'll be Loya now taking it up the floor. Loya over to Campbell. Campbell at the top of the key. He's trying to shake and bake. And kicks it outside to Mattingly. Goes up and he's going to be rejected by Aiden Knauss along the baseline. And now it's Rineker back the other way. Another three-pointer here from Ethan Piles is in and out. So with a buck 25 to go in this first half. Sailors have only been able to muster about 14 points here. 14 to 9 now is your score after that herb layup earlier. And it's Loya trying the three-pointer. He hits it. Kevin Loya with the three-point touch. 14 to 12. It's a two-point game, folks. With a minute remaining, it's Jake Berry over to Doyne. Doyne handoff to Mac Rineker. Back to Doyne. And now Doyne has the ball. 
Dorn top of the key over to Rineker. Kicked out to Aiden Kanaus. He tries his three-pointer of his own. No good there. And Sebastian Campbell's there to gather the rebound. We've got 45 seconds to go. Sebastian Campbell working it up the floor. Handles it at the top of the key. He's just going to slow it down here with 35 seconds to go. It'll be Kevin Loya over to Herb. And along the baseline, it's Haas, and he gets the layup to fall. Just shove Jake Barry out of his way. And just like that, folks, this game is all tied up, and we've got 20 seconds to play. Ethan Piles handles it. It looks like the Sailors will get the last possession of this half with 14 seconds to go. Jake Barry over to Ethan Piles. Back up top to Jake Barry. Back to Ethan Piles. He's at the top of the key. Crossover. Looks left. Finds Kanaus. Inside now to Rineker. Posts up. Gets the layup. Can't get it to go, though. And that'll do it here as that first half horn sounds. 14 to 14 is your score. I'm Lowen Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM or SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. 98.9 Sports on FM or SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be right back on your Steamboat Sailors Sports Connection. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Basketball on 98.9. Sponsored Docs Auto Clinic. Yellow Valley Bank. Alpine Lumber. Mountain View Car Wash. Steamboat Dental Center. And Chris Bucket with Denver Joe. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. Check out the complete schedule while you're there. Steamboat Sailors Basketball. It was also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance. The Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. Sports on S. 98.9 presents Steamboat Sailors Basketball, only on 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. I'm Terry, and this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology, where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Mac Rinnaker. I'm a junior in high school. Uh, I wear number 20. I am a forward. I started playing basketball in the third grade. I also like football and rugby. I don't know where I want to go to college, but if I do play in college, I will play basketball. Uh, in 10 years, I see myself with a successful job and living a happy life. Outside of school, I am involved in SMT. My favorite subject in school is math because it's my last class of the day. My favorite movie is Transformers because it's just an action movie movie, which is a classic. Uh, last summer, I visited my brother in Wisconsin. I checked out a couple colleges, and I did a lot of camping. My goals this season is to win league and compete for Western Slope Player of the Year. My goals in life are to just be a productive member of society. What I remember most about being a sailor is all the good guys and family that are good teammates. I'm Mac Nicker, I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports. 98.9. Hey, Sailor basketball fans. P.J. Wards at the Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go! Sailors! 
Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. My name is Molly Kleins, and I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 25, and my position is point guard. I've been playing for six years, and I also like to play soccer. I'd like to go to college somewhere in Colorado or Wisconsin. If I play in college, it would probably be soccer. In 10 years, I see myself being a special education teacher. Outside of school, I'm also involved in club sports like soccer and basketball. My favorite subject in school is writing. My favorite my favorite movie is Zootopia because of the majestic characters. Last summer I worked for STARS, which is a local sports adaptive program, and I definitely think that could be in my future and I really love spending time with the kids. My goals for the season are to become a better shooter and a better teammate, and my goals for life are to have a dog and name it Simon. Simon would be a golden retriever. What I will remember most about being a sailor is the positive environment that the school has. I'm Molly Kleins, sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just paint some power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8. Proud to support your Steamboat sailors. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the help of all your home needs place. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. I'm Jimmy Osborne. I'm a junior. My number is 34, and I play center or power forward. I've been playing since I was in third grade. I don't really play any other sports, but I'd like to play track. Uh, I'd like to go to college at Western or Mesa. I'm not sure if I would want to play in college. I, in 10 years, I see myself living a happy life, maybe in Steamboat. Outside of school, I'm also involved in team council. My favorite subject in school is history. My favorite movie is Jaws the Revenge, just because of how corny it is. Last summer, I worked at Stars and had a lot of great memories there. My goals for this season are to become the Western Slope League champion. My goals in life are to go to college and have a good life. What I'll remember most about being a sailor is all the good times I've had with my teammates. I'm Jimmy Osborne. I'm a junior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC, now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health Family. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we are proud to support Sailors Basketball. 
Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's choice. Folks, I'm Lone Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium, on the call here for this Steamboat Springs Sailors boys basketball game. As we're about one minute away from second half action, your score here is 14 to 14. The lowest scoring game for the Sailors so far this season. We're used to seeing them by the end of the game putting up about 50 or 60 points and it doesn't look like they'll be there today so this Palisade team as we said yes as we said during the pregame show they're 3 and 11 on the year 3 and 10 and uh, the Sailors can't overlook these guys and surely they they might have a little bit as they're tied up with them 14 to 14 here as we get set for this second half action. It's going to be Ethan Piles on the throw in. He'll find Matt Rinnaker. Sailors moving left to right to start this second half. Rinnaker along the baseline goes up and gets the layup to go immediately. Just like just like I said, uh, that's Matt Rinnaker's 10th point of the game. And now back the other way, this is going to be sub, uh, excuse me, Logan Tarman. Tarman handles it at the top of the key, shoots it down low to Campbell. Campbell now looks left, looks right, finds Tarman back up, and it'll be tipped out of bounds by Rineker. So Sebastian Campbell will throw it in again. Campbell looks inside, finds, finds Orb. And he'll find Haas on the inside once more. He gets that layup to fall. Haas standing at six foot eight, towering over everybody. And after the ensuing possession, Ethan Piles passed it back to Mac Rineker. And that'll be an over and back call there. So a turnover there from the Sailors. Quickly now, it's going to be Logan Tarman for another possession for the Bulldogs. Tarman looks inside, finds Mattingly. Mattingly back outside to Tarman. It'll be tipped out by Ethan Piles. 7.06 remaining. Your score is 16-16. Mack Rineker leading all scores with 10 points. Looking to bounce back from a tough loss against the Glenwood Demons. And it'll be Watts Herb handling it. Herb out to Campbell, top of the key. Campbell's got Doyne on him. Back out to Herb. Herb now finds Campbell once more. Campbell pivots, finds Herb. Herb looking for somewhere to go and decides on Logan Tarman at the top of the key. Tarman calls for movement. Bounce pass inside to Zane Haas. Hans Haas now, who we just saw get that layup, finds Tarman on the outside and tried the three-pointer. It was just tipped and blocked by Ethan Piles. Great defensive play there by Piles. So Marinette, Mac Rineker will take it back the other way, moving left to right on your radio dial. Rineker loses it for a second, and it'll be just gathered on the fast break by number three, Sebastian Campbell. But Rineker gets back and denies him for the layup. Mac Rineker, knowing that he can, that he has to bounce back after that play, goes and pins him on the backboard. Mac Rineker making waves out here. Sebastian Campbell will be on the bounce pass after that one went out of bounds, and Jake Haas gets the layup to fall. Palisade takes the lead for the first time in this game since we saw them up 3-2 in the first quarter. 18-16 is your score with six minutes to go. And it's Jake Barry handling it, kicks it out to Rineker, drives in, goes for the layup, and gets the layup to go with the end one foul. So Mac Rineker will head to the free throw line. And he gets his 11th and 12th points of the afternoon. So Matt Rineker has 12 of these 18 points here as this one's tied up once more. First free throw from Rineker. Oh, it was a and one, so his only free throw is good. Making this a 19-18 lead for the Sailors. It's Haas now taking it up. Haas over to over to Herb. Herb now gives it off to Logan Tarman, top of the key. Tarman working number two for this team in maroon. 
handles it, and now it's back up to Herb at the top of the key. Back down low to Tarman, near side, low corner. Tarman looks left, looks right, and bounce pass inside over to Herb. Spin move and can't get the lip to go. Doyne up there for the rebound. Doyne splits the defenders, goes in for the layup, and there's a whistle there, and that'll be a shooting foul. So Tyler Doyne will shoot too. Can't get the layup to fall though. So with 5.17 left to go, your Sailors are leading 19 to 18. And Mac Rineker, the one man show for this Sailors team as Tyler Doyne's first free throw is good. That is his first point of the game. Jake Berry has three points. Ethan Piles has two. Mac Rineker has. Uh, Matt Krinnaker has 14 and Aiden Knauss has 1. So it's Tyler Doyne now getting set for a second free throw. And this one is up and in as well. So Tyler Doyne making do on his free throws. And Doyne is going to take a seat now as Dawson Linkwiss will come in to replace him. On the bounce pass now, trying to break this full court press. It's going to be Sandesh Adaraki, and it's right into the arms of Aiden Canales intercepted. So another possession here for the Sailors as Mack Rineker handles the ball. Rineker out to Piles, drives in, kicks it back out to Rineker. He's behind the arc, tries the three-pointer, can't get it to fall. I thought that was going in, folks, as it just went in and out. And now back the other way is Brendan Anderson. Anderson finds Mattingly in the corner. Pump fake goes along the baseline, gets the layup to go. 20 to 21 to 20. Sailor still leading, but it's a close one here. As along the opposite baseline now, as Dawson Linquist goes up for the layup and just gets rejected by Zane Haas. So now here's another possession for the Palisade Bulldogs. Inside now is Haas. It was tipped out of bounds by Rineker. So this will remain Bulldog ball. It's going to be Brendan Anderson, number five, on the throw-in. Anderson finds Kevin Loya. He tries the three ball. No good there. And it's right into the outstretched arms of Mac Rineker. As this Mac Rineker kicks it, cro- kicks it cross court over to Jake Barry. Now handoff back to Rineker. Top of the key goes along. And a nice split the defenders pass to Canals. Kicks it back up to Ethan Piles. And Ethan Piles hits the deep three-pointer. 24-20. Nice job there from Ethan Piles. He's one of the best shooters on this team when he gets hot, no doubt about it. And it's Brendan Anderson now, number five for the Bulldogs, working versus Rineker. And there's going to be a whistle here as the coaches for the Bulldogs are going to take a timeout. Once again, folks, I'm Lowen Epstein, live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. And you can also find us on SteamboatRadio.com. Mac Rineker leading all scorers with 14 points. Ethan Piles has four. Aiden Canales has just one. Tyler Doyne and Jake Berry have two and three. So a quick shout-out to our sponsors here, Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, guard, and more. By offering our customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products, as long along with UC Health and Yampa Valley Medical Center, helping you get back to full strength when you are feeling short-handed. This Sailors team, it's a close one here. They're up 24 to 20 with 3.54 to go in this third quarter. And we're coming out of the timeout here. This is going to be a Palisade ball. Brendan Anderson will be on the throw in. Anderson finds Herb inside. Herb kicks it out to Loya. Loya now at the top of the key. He's got piles on him. Lose it for a second and it goes out of bounds. And he taps his chest saying, my bad, my bad. He knows that was his mistake. Either way, this will be a turnover, and Jake Barry controls the ball. Barry now over to Dorn at the top of the key. Now up to Piles. Now inside back to Barry. Barry's trying to post up. Nothing doing there, and it's kicked out back to Dorn. Dorn now up top to Barry, top of the key. Barry looks for some movement. Uses up his dribble. And dribbles with his left. Handoff now, underhand shovel pass to Piles. Top of the key to Doyne. Looks inside for Rineker. Goes up and gets rejected by Zane Haas as he went up for the layup. 
Haas, it's so hard to get layups over this kid. He's six foot eight. Just saying no to everything here this afternoon. And it's Mattingly now back the other way for the Bulldogs. Mattingly, number 21 for the boys in Maroon, handles it at the top of the key. Mattingly step back, steps back, finds Brandon Anderson. Anderson now looks inside, decides on Kevin Loya at the top of the key. Back out to Anderson, back out to Loya, top of the key. Calls for some movement. Loya looks in, finds Mattingly, low corner. Nice in pass to Brendan Anderson in the paint. Gets the layup to fall. 22-24 with 2.35 to go. It's Doyne now over to Linquist. Now up top over to Ethan Piles. Calls for the pick. Shovel pass over to Rineker. Drives in. Kicks it out to Doyne. He tries the three-pointer. That one's good. Tyler Doyne putting his hand in the cookie jar today as he gets the three to fall. That's Tyler Doyne's third, fourth, and fifth points of the afternoon, extending this lead to 27-22. to Brendan Anderson controls the ball. Anderson now over to Herb. Herb looks left, looks right. Doesn't know where to go with it. Finally decides to take the three-pointer, and that was a long-range one. It was off target from the start, so Ethan Piles takes it back the other way. The one-handed layup is no good off the ensuing fast break. So just like that, we're back where we started. It's Mattingly in the corner. Mattingly kicks it up top to Kevin Loya. Loya, number 35, has gotten significant playing time. This game did not start, though. And now it's Zane Haas. Haas kicks it outside to Brendan Anderson. He loses it for a second and uh, went out of bounds. Aiden Knaus and Connor Hansen will check in for Ethan Piles and Mack Rineker. So that ball sailed out of bounds. The refs are going to say it is Palisade ball. So on this near side baseline, it'll be Kevin Loya throwing it in. Loses it for a second, gathered by Herb. And now Herb finds Loya down low. Up top, it's Logan Tarman handling it. Tarman has Connor Hansen on him. Finds Kevin Loya in the corner. And now it's Herb now behind the arc over to number 10, Jared Brown, getting some more time here. Brown almost gets it stolen, goes up on the fadeaway. Jay no good there, and Tyler Doyne swoops in for the rebound. Sailors back the other way, moving left to right. Doyne, number five, drives in, gets the lamp to go, and doesn't get it to fall, and he'll get called for the charge foul as he just went and put his body into the face of Kevin Loya. And Loya took that charge well, so this will be a Palisade ball trying to break this full court press. 58 seconds to go in this third. It's Loya looking over, finds Mattingly, and Doyne dove for it, and that must have hurt. And luckily for him, Mattingly overshot Haas on the pass in the paint over his head, which is pretty hard to do for a 6'8 kid. <laughs> so that ball goes out of bounds. Sailor's possession. Connor Hansen's going to be on the throw in. Doyne looks to be a little bit shaken up after diving for that one. It'll be Jake Berry taking it up the floor, moving left to right on your radio dial. This is Jake Berry. Berry looks left, looks right, finds Knauss at the top of the key. Over to Doyne now, near side, top corner. Now it's Eth Mac Rineker, excuse me. And now it's back inside to Doyne, outside to Berry. They're just trying to move it around the horn here, folks. We've got 30 seconds left to go in this third as Jake Berry calls for some movement. Berry now steps back, finds Knauss at the top of the key, over to Mac Rineker, and now inside to Berry. Goes for the layup, can't get it to fall, and an over-the-back foul will be called on Connor Hansen as he went in for the to grab that rebound. So this is going to be Palisade ball. Folks, we've got 20.5 seconds to go as Kevin Loya looks to be throwing it in. Little miscommunication here from the referees as Mattingly will come out of the game and Jared Brown will come back in. So now it's Loya throwing it up top and Herb goes up and grabs it. Running out of time here. Got to get it past the half court line. It's Logan Tarman. He does it now. He's at the top of the key. Tarman over to Jared Brown. We've got 10 seconds to play and it's going to be Herb in the corner, goes along the baseline, spins it out to Brown. It'll be tipped out of bounds the last second by Jake Berry. So with 2.3 to go in this third quarter, they're going to get one more shot at it. The Bulldogs will. Quickly now, it's Jared Brown. Jared looks inside, finds Haas, goes up on the fadeaway, Jay, and gets it at the buzzer. 
Zane Haas chipping away at this lead. 27 to 24 is what the score will be as we enter this final frame of play. I'm Lowen Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be back in about one minute for this final quarter of action. I'm live here on KTYV 98.9 and SteamboatRadio.com. We'll be back in about one minute for this final quarter of action. Hey, Taylor basketball fans. PJ Wards and the Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown basketball team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Basketball on KTYV Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown. Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and go Sailors! I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology, where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. Welcome back, folks. I'm Lone Epstein, live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium. As your sailors lead 27-24, to 24, we're just underway here in this fourth and final frame of action as the Palisade Bulldogs handle the ball. This is Logan Tarman. Looks inside, finds Haas, and now it's inbounds pass to... Number 14, Watts Herb, and a collision here. And there's going to be a whistle. Looks like they're going to get Tyler Doyne for the foul as they both go for that ball. So it'll be a pushing foul on Doyne. And now under the basket will be another inbounds pass from Jarrett Brown. Brown looks left, finds Tarman. Fade away floater. That one's good. What a shot there from Tarman as he just put that one up over the outstretched arms of Mac Rineker. So this is a one-point game, 27-26. to 26. It's Jake Berry, handoff to Piles. Piles at the top of the key, and now it's inside to Rineker. Rineker over the shoulder pass to Aiden Knaus, and he gets the three from the corner. Aiden Knaus, nice job there from the junior. And he extends this lead back up to four, 30-26. to 26. As Knaus gets his second, third, and fourth points of the game. It's Tarman now over to Loya. Inside back to Tarman along the baseline. Kicks it back out to Haas. Fade away. Jay is up and no good. Gathered by Rineker. And there was a scuffle there. Refs are going to blow the whistle. And over, a ba- over the back call is designated on Jared, Br- Jared Brown. So this will be a Sailor's possession. Mack Rineker on the throw-in. Finds Jake Barry. Barry now working left to right on your radio dial. Takes it up the floor. We've got 6.30 to go in this game. 30-26 to 26 is your score. Jake Barry looks inside, finds Piles at the top of the key. Ethan Piles now working back over to Jerry on, on Jake Barry on the rotation. Inside, Rineker goes up. Spin move, and that will be a travel there as... as... Mac, R- Mac Rineker went up for the layup, couldn't get the ball out of his hands, and came back down with it. So, as many basketball fans know, that is a that is a travel. So there's another turnover there from Mac Rineker, having a tough couple of games here, as he's had almost 10 turnovers these past few two games, which is definitely not where he coach or him wants to be. And it looks like the refs are going to be talking about something here. So it looks like they're going to give this ball back to Steamboat. They're going to say when Mac Rineker went up for the layup, it was forced into his hands by one of the Palisade defenders. So he, it wasn't his fault. So, so that'll just be a. Uh, yeah, that'll just be a... After that, the ball went out of bounds, too. So it was lastly touched by Kevin Loya, I believe. So I'm 
Yeah, they're going to give this ball to the Sailors. That's a huge break with 6.18 remaining. Ethan Piles will be on the throw-in. Mac Rineker knew it, too. He was talking to the refs, saying, I didn't, I didn't, that ball was forced into my hands. And now it's Rineker under the basket, gets the layup. And he'll make do, folks. Mac Rineker with his 15th and 16th points of the game. Now back the other way, it's Sebastian Campbell. Campbell finds Loya, and Loya on the fast break. And he stops, pops, hits it. Kevin Loya, big things. 28-32 after that Loya two-pointer. 5.56, it's Ethan Paz along. The baseline goes up, gets rejected by Haas. Wow. For all of you not watching the live stream here, Jake Haas, excuse me, not Jake Haas, Zane Haas is just towering over everybody. And now it's Mac Rineker tried to get the shovel layup to go in. Can't, can't do it. And so slowing it down is Sebastian Campbell. Campbell running out of time, finds Logan Tarman, and now it's Tarman controlling it. Tarman's got piles on him. Kicks it over to Campbell, goes along the baseline, goes behind his back, and it's going to be tipped out of bounds by Rineker. So under the basket now will be Sebastian Campbell. We've got five minutes and 30 seconds left to play. Sailors up by four, 32 to 28. It's Haas going up and getting the inbounds pass and gives it to Tarman. Tarman crosses up Ethan Piles, pulls up for the three-pointer. Nothing doing there, though. Would have been a spectacular play as Jake Berry comes down with a rebound. Berry along the baseline goes up, doesn't take the shot, though, and just rotates it around the horn and kicks it outside to Canals back up to Berry. Berry now over to Piles at the top of the key, inside now to Doyne, goes up for the layup, decides not to take it, kicks it out to Canals, he tries the three, no good there. Just off the back iron of the hoop. So after all that, Sailors are still only up by four, 32 to 28, 449 left to go. And Mac Rineker working versus Campbell, trying to get the steal there, doesn't get it in. It's gonna be picked off by Aiden Knaus. And before there could be a jump ball call there, Coach Van Dahl called a timeout. Nice heads up play there from Coach Van Dahl. With 4.38 remaining, your score's 32-28 going into this timeout. Another quick shout-out to our sponsors here, Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. Steam Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more. By offering our customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. Once again, I'm Lone Epstein live here from Kelly Meek Gymnasium on the call today without my usual counterpart, Vladen Chase, as he was not able to make it. So with 4.38 remaining in this game, this is a 3-10 team the Sailors are playing. They might have overlooked him a little bit. And hopefully they can come away with this W. Coming out of the timeout, this is going to be Sailor's ball. Jake Barry handles it. Barry moving left to right on your radio dial. Takes it up past half court. Barry number four for your Sailors, the only senior on this team. Finds Doyne in the corner. Doyne out to Canals. Loses it for a second. Turns around, pulls up, and hits the J. Right in front of the home crowd. Aiden Canals. <laughs> He didn't really have anywhere to go with it, so he just turned around and said, to heck with it, and took the took the 14-footer and rang the bell on that one. So Aiden Knauss gets his fifth and sixth points of the game. And now it's Haas back the other way at the top of the key. Haas over to Herb. Herb now out to Brendan Anderson. Back out to Campbell. Tries the three-pointer. Can't get it. Luckily, the rebound is gathered by Haas. Kicked out to Loya. Tries the three-pointer. Again, no good. And Aiden Knauss was just tackled there. And wow, what a missed call by the rest as Aiden Knauss was on the ground with... A man on his back, and while everybody was trying to help him up, Loya just came in and got the layup. So 34 to 30 with 3:30 to go, and now it's Mac Rineker working. There's going to be a whistle here, pushing call on Sebastian Campbell. So this will just be a possession foul as Mac Rineker will be on the throw-in. 
Rineker running out of time. Just bounces it off Campbell now to try to get more time. So once again, we're back where we started. Campbell will come out and Logan Tarman will come in. It's Ethan Piles now on the inbounds pass. 3.23 left to go. Sailors holding on to a four point lead. Looks up for Rineker, drives in, post move. Can't get the layup, gets the put back and finally gets it to go. So Mac Rineker doing the majority of the work here for the Sailors this afternoon. Gets another two points there and he's up to 18 on the, on the afternoon. It's Haas now driving in, puts up the layup, and that one falls. Haas along the baseline is no match for really anyone as he stands over every player on the court at six foot eight. So 36-32, we've got 2.45 to go. It's Tyler Doyne at the top of the key over to Jake Berry. And Jake Berry sends a cross court back to Doyne. Ethan Piles back across to Berry. He tries the three-pointer, no good there off the front iron. Rebounded by Herb. And we're going to see a timeout. But no, not a timeout. Refs blew the whistle. And that's a foul on Aiden Knaus. An off-ball foul push. So that'll switch up the possession here as Brendan Anderson has the ball. He'll be on the throw-in. So instead of it being Sailor's ball, this is going to be Palisade ball with Logan Tarman handling it. Tarman looks inside, finds Mattingly. He pulls up from about 15 feet, no good there. It just bounces off the front iron, gathered by Haas though, and kicked outside once more over to Brendan Anderson. So as Anderson was holding it, we're gonna see a timeout by Palisade. 2.10 remaining in a game that most people thought it would be a lot more of a blowout than it is right now. Sailor's only up by four. 36 to 32. 210 remaining. Once again, folks, I'm Lowen Epstein live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM as well as SteamboatRadio.com. Quick shout out to Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Friends coming to town, call us at 970-879-8000 for the Locals Connection discount. As well as Chris Puckett at the Edward downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 for all your investment needs. Edward Jones making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Sailor's got to get some more points on the board here as Mac Rineker is definitely doing his part though today as he's poured in 18. Tyler Dorn has five. Aiden Knauss has five. Jake Berry has three and Ethan Piles has four. So we're not really sharing the ball as much as we'd like to and that's probably why the game is so low scoring. And here we are out of this timeout. This is going to be a Palisade ball. So in the corner, it's Sebastian Campbell throwing it in. He'll find Tarman. Tarman handles it, goes behind his back. He's at the top of the key. Bounce pass intercepted by Rineker. And there's a whistle. They're going to say Rineker kicked the ball. He has a tendency for sticking out his legs when he's trying to deflect it. So this will be Tarman back now. Sebastian on the inbounds pass. Give and go to Sebastian. He's at the top of the key over to Tarman. Tarman bounce pass down low, and he throws it into traffic, tipped out of bounds by Ethan Piles. So with a buck 49 to go, Palisade still has possession. Sebastian Campbell holds it. On the inbounds pass over to Loya. Loya at the top of the key. Kevin Loya pivots, kicks it outside to Campbell. And now it's Campbell back out to Loya. Loya just moving it around the horn over to Campbell. Sailors aren't making an effort to go get this as they're up by four with a buck, 44, buck 34 to go. And it's Campbell now driving in. Finds his teammate Tarman back out to Campbell. Far side top corner. Tarman has Rineker on him. 
Goes between his legs, working out of the top of the key, wasting quite a lot of time here as he throws it up to Campbell. Now it's inside, and it's Mattingly back out to Campbell. Campbell looks, finds Tarman for three. No good there, and it's Rineker on the rebound. They're going to like to slow it down here with 107 to go. Expect the... Expect this Palisade team to foul here shortly as we're under a minute now to play of 59 seconds. It's Tyler Dorn handling the ball near side top corner. He moves it around the horn. It's Rineker over to Knaus. Back up to Piles. Tries the deep three-pointer. Can't get it. And that could have iced the game there. Rebounds the gathered, though, by Jake Berry. And there's going to be a foul called on Haas. As Rineker, excuse me, Ethan Piles pulled up from about five feet behind the arc. So it's getting interesting here. We have 44 seconds to go. Your score is 36 to 32. Coach Vandal is going to take a quick timeout here. I'm Lone Epstein here on 98.9 KTYV. Another quick shout out to our sponsors here. UC Health at Yampa Valley Medical Center. Helping you get back to full strength when you are feeling shorthanded. And Doc's Auto Clinic, taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank. Member FDIC, Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend, and Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witty and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. So it's hard to say, but it looks like this this game could be over if the Sailors get another possession. They're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the conference. They might be the best, actually, shooting almost 80% from the line this season. And out of this timeout, it'll be Sailors ball as we're not quite in the bonus yet. So Jake Barry, after getting fouled, will not shoot free throws. And it'll be Tyler Doyne on the inbounds pass. Sailors on the floor is Doyne, Rineker, Knaus, Piles, and Barry. Doyne's on the inbounds pass now, number five for your Sailors. He's got five on the day. Doyne looks back, finds Jake Barry. Try not to get fouled, and he does. So still not in the bonus yet, so no free throws quite yet. 41 seconds to play. Sailors just trying to run down this clock. It's Doyne once more on the throwing. Doyne finds Rineker. Rineker just holding it. And it's tipped up and out of bounds, saying it's Sailor's ball, though. So that wasted a couple seconds off. 36.7 to go. We're going to see another timeout here from Coach Van Dahl. In about five minutes, you'll be able to... We're going to kick it over to Brian Harvey, who's at the Howie Dome right now on the call for a big game for the Steamboat Spring Sailors hockey team as they're taking on Regis Jesuit coming down from the front range. Should be a tough matchup for the Sailors as Regis is one of the best teams in the state. Sailors in a good one last night on senior night. And out of this timeout, Sailors are going to have keep possession. It'll be Tyler Doyne once more on the throw-in. The trick now here, folks, is to not get fouled and just let this clock run out. And Doyne finds Barry way down low. And Barry goes behind his back, finds Doyne there to waste a few more seconds off the clock. Nice job there from Barry. So now we're in the bonus, and it looks like Tyler Doyne will be heading to the free throw line with 31.5 seconds to go. 36 to 32 is your score. Sailors just dropped two back-to-back, and Doyne's first free throw is good, so it's a one-and-one, so that means since he made it, he'll get another one, and he's going to get a chance to ice this game as it's 37-32 to now. Doyne up and no good. So Doyne gets one, but not the other one, and now it's Palisade trying to make quick work. Campbell goes in, kicks it outside to Haas, back up to Campbell. Campbell drives in, spins around, doesn't know where to go, just wasting time. Goes out to Loya, now it's up to Haas. He tries the three-pointer, hits it. Wow. And just like that, 
This Palisade team is back in the game. Only down by two. Uh-oh. Haas with the clutch three-point shooting. 37 to 35. Haas standing at six foot eight. Wet from downtown. 14 and a half seconds to go. We're going to see another timeout here from Coach Van Dahl. And it's a game now, folks. Sailor's only up by two. Shout out to my boy Ryan Hansen down there doing stats for this team. <laughs> His brother Connor getting some playing time today with the absence of Quinn Connell. And looks like we should be coming out of this timeout here shortly. Coach Vandal is going to be drawing something up to try to maybe ice this game or just run away with it and win by two. Either way, it's going to be Sailor's possession here with 14 and a half to go. Sailor's on the floor. Canals, Piles, Barry, Mac Rineker, and Tyler Doyne. Rineker has 18 points on the day. And it'll be Tyler Doyne on the inbounds pass. Doyne, number five for your Sailors. Here we go, folks. Doyne looks up, heaves it up to Rineker. It's a fast break, and he goes up, spins around, gets the layup, can't get the foul, gets the rebound, though. And there's going to be a foul as Mac Rineker couldn't get the free, couldn't get the layup to go in, but he did get fouled. So he'll be at the line shooting, too. Now, if he makes both of them, this game is probably over. But if he only hits one, Palisade can come right back and bury another three-pointer. Nice play there from Tyler Dorn as he just threw that one up cross-court. So before these free throws, the Sailors are going to use another timeout. Should be their last timeout. And we have 8.9 seconds remaining, folks. Remember that as I'm Lowen Epstein on KTYV. Can you go for these back? Yeah. Sailors holding on to a two-point lead. Another quick shout-out to our sponsors here. Mountain View Car Wash helping the Sailors clean the competition. We're located between Town of McDonald's on Highway 40. Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop, where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's Auto Salon at 879-1515. And Steamboat Ace Hardware. A helpful place for hardware, plumbing, tools, grills, garden, and more by offering our customers knowledgeable advice, helpful service, and quality products. Should be coming out of this timeout soon. As the crowd is still still full. Still full here in the stands. As this game is not over yet. Remember, we have Mac Rineker at the line shooting free throws, and that's exactly where he'll go after this timeout. And as he gets set to take his first free throw, remember, 8.9 seconds to go. Three, 37 to 35 is your score. Rineker could ice the game right now. As here we go. Rineker lines up for the first one. Yeah, and he doesn't get it. So just like that, folks, Aiden Canals gets the rebound and another foul there. So Rineker missed his one-in-one -one free throw. Lucky, though, as Aiden Canals came in and took two seconds off the clock, and he'll be shooting free throws now, too. 6.5 remaining. Sailors looking to come out of here with this barely getting this win, and the, the first free throw is good for Aiden Canals, which means he gets one more. Before he takes his second one, we're going to see another timeout here as Palisade still has hope. Once again, I'm Lowen Epstein here live on 98.9 KTYV Sports on FM. You can also reach us on SteamboatRadio.com. So right now, after that made Canals free throw, it looks like the 
the plan now for this Palisade team is to really just hope and pray that Knaus misses this second free throw and they can go back the other way and hit the three-pointer. Remember, there's only 6.5 seconds remaining. This is a close one. We've seen the Sailors in this situation before, and we've seen them come back and do it. Remember, against Roosevelt, they were down by three with about three seconds to go, and Mac Rineker came and hit the buzzer beater three to send it into OT. So now here we go, coming out of this timeout. Aiden Knauss has one more free throw attempt as he lines up at the stripe. Knaus could do it here. And it's up and in. Aiden Knaus extends this lead to four points. And with six and a half to go, the Palisade Bulldogs will get one more chance at it. It's Mattingly. Over to Loya. 5-4-3. Loya now. Three-point attempt from Herb is up and no good. And that'll do it, folks. Sailors come out of this home game with a close win versus the Palisade Bulldogs. 39-35 to is your final. Once again, I'm Lowen Epstein. Thank you for joining me here for this afternoon affair as the Sailors bounce back from a tough, tough weekend last, last weekend versus Glenwood. They bounce back and get another dub. I'm Lauren Epstein, live here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM and SteamboatRadio.com. And uh, I will be kicking it over now to Brian Harvey, who's at the Howie Dome, for some Steamboat Sailors hockey. So long, folks. I will be kicking it over now to Brian Harvey, who's at the Howie Dome, for some Steamboat Sailors hockey. So long, folks. Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car is in